That's a fucking badass song. Oh, uh, hold on, now. give me a few minutes, a few seconds, I'm to start this studying. Well, did you? Oh, dude, you didn't change the um the on what? the Ellen show. You didn't change the date. For oh the you oh, know yeah, how yeah, yeah 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 sorry, I was rushing. I'll edit you it down because I was rushing. Para ma post kagad. I uh, para ma post. No, no one will see it. <laughs> no. Oh no. no. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Shit, I forgot. <laughs> okay, I'll fix it after All the right. show. Uh, ready? Go. The views and opinions expressed on any program are those of the persons appearing on the program and do not necessarily reflect the views and opinions of the New Media Factory. Some programs on this network might include strong images and language and may not be suitable for all audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. The biggest, most outrageous online show in Philippine history. 20 million fucking downloads. Interactive in 35 countries. Mo is back with a vengeance in season two. Bigger, better, badder. Let's start off with an international call. Yesterday we took a call from India. Tonight it's Canada. Nice. Let's go to Ireland. Where in Ireland are you? Well, I'm in Dublin. Some people say that I'm a bad guy. They may be right. Let's go to Afghanistan. Holy shit, are you fucking really in Afghanistan? Yeah, man, what's up? Florida. What's up? I just found your show today, and I think it's great. Live from Hollywood and at the Beyond the Box studios in One Rockwell, Makati, it's Good Times with Mo, the podcast season two. The Bigger, Better, Badder podcast. Your questions about love, life, sex, sex. are all answered and occasionally made fun of here. And now, the man who loves women and dudes, but not in the same way. The Philippine genius, DJ Mo Twister. Welcome to the podcast on this Thursday night. It is the, <clears throat> excuse me, 5th of September. Good times with Mo the Podcast Season 2, brought to you by Globe. Phone number 478-7954. Skype to the Times Podcast, if you want to do that. You can also text us, 927 214 1981, you give us a text, we will call you, put you on air. You can ask your love problem, life problem, sex question, whatever it may be. Myself and my very good, beautiful friend here, Kat Alano, will try our best to knock them out for you. And you may even win an iPad in the process. Good evening, Kat. Hello. How are you? Oh. I am doing all right. How are you? Nothing. Just admiring your voice again. Tell you all the time. You know how it is. I have like a bit of a cold today, so it's, it's even deeper than usual. Hmm. You should be sick more often. <laughs> Kat, um, we're always plagued, uh, as we say this on Thursdays, with very serious questions. Uh, we came from a huge episode last night, uh, Forbidden Questions, with Ellen Adarna, and it was awesome. Gosh, I wish you were here. I know. Um, I missed out. So what else was there? Tell me. Spill the beans. What was the Well, you know, it, my, I just, I love when Bong Revilla gets, like, thrashed. <laughs> so uh, when she was, you know, she called him, like, a T-Rex, you know, small arms, big body. It's very different. <laughs> just kind of, it was awesome, man. I, I mean, I had a good time, and I, I, I foresee it to be one of the more downloaded uh, episodes. And by, and by the way, speaking of, and I, I know I said this yesterday, and I want to say it again here, is, uh, the downloads for this podcast, especially recently, have been just insane, and we have to thank you guys. I mean, it has been it has been crazy. Like, you remember our last? Um, I think was it last week you were here? The Hans Smith yeah, and you, yeah, episode? Coach God, Hans, just crazy numbers. I mean, fifty thousand. It was like fifty thousand in in just like two days or some crazy That's like awesome. nonsense <laughs> like that. I mean, it's been, Thanks, it's been incredible. Yeah, so thank you, everyone. We and I guess that's what it all, it all boils down to. Like, yeah, sometimes we'll complain that Thursdays are our slow. Well, not slow. They're calls. There are a lot of calls, but Jay. serious family dramas and yeah, shit. Like why that. Like, is God, that family why, drama? Why is that, guys? Why are you guys attracted to us on a Thursday with this family problem? It must be me because if every other day, you know, you're having these sexual wild problems, and then when it's with me, it's like everybody suddenly. You know, had such you know a what it is? brother. It's we like, were talking about this last night amongst the staff. Uh -huh. You're the most open sexually, um, probably more experienced, I'd say, too, than, than, say, maybe a Bianca or a Chopper or whatnot. Um, but you're also less bruja loud. Less You know, like Chopper's loud. bruja loud. Like, <laughs> you know, just kind of bruja loud, you know. And, and 
I think because you're you're a little bit more in control of your like emotions. I, you know, you're not laid back in a sense like you know you're just soft spoken. You you know you're passionate, especially about things that you believe in. But you're not bruja passionate. <laughs> Like, you know, the color I'll pink. I have to work on the bruja passion then. No, well, no. I, okay, like the color pink, right? The pink can be a very cool, nice, pleasant color. Mm-hmm. Or it could be bruja pink. Like okay. fucking frosty hooker fucking <laughs> JJ pink. See through you know? heels to go with that fluorescent. Right. There could be like a bruja version of it. Like, because red is red. Red's kind of nice. There's a shiny red. There's a dark red. There's a blood red, fire engine. But there's no bruja red. There's bruja pink. There's definitely a fucking bruja like, pink. Oh, it's awful. And I'm not saying that the Bianca Chopper bruja pink, but you get what I mean. It's a lot more <laughs> aggressive, loud, you know, so, in your face kind of pink so you're saying that that kind of like behavior encourages the wild sex people to call well bruja pink attracts bruja so, okay. so we're just not bruja enough mo we have well, to we're be smart more bruja. Pink. yeah but, we're, but the thing is we're smart pink we're like we're a respected pink and then people <laughs> we're like, are gonna we're call. Like they've got baby pink but yeah. a little bit darker yeah, you know, it's not like the pink that you can paint your wall. Like you would never paint your wall pink unless it's a certain kind of pink. Yes, definitely. Then you're fine. Mm-hmm. You're like it's almost kind of borderline uh, like rose. Oh, you know? we're sophisticated rose color. That's we? right. I like That's this. right. We're fine. We're, yeah, we're rosy fine colored wine. glasses people, yes. Right. They're gin and we're wine. <laughs> yes, I get that gin nila yung puta kanang barangay gin. Tagay pagkanan dito sila. That's right. Awesome. They're Lambanog or whatever the fuck it's They're called. Drunk. All right. Anyway, let's get to these calls. Uh, 4787954 again. Skype the Good Times podcast. Text 927 I also have some Ask FM questions that I keep on promising that I'll get to, um, but we kind of run out of time. I usually, like on Tuesday, I only think I took one. And then yesterday, of course, we didn't take any. So maybe we can squeeze in a couple more today because we get so many of them there uh, by the thousands every day. I and like uh, it'd be Pick nice to. Interesting ones. Yeah, I'll pick a couple of interesting ones here, and hopefully we can work that one out. But let's go to the phones first. Catalano again here on the program tonight. <clears throat> and uh, let's get to it. Let's talk to Erwin first. Erwin, you are on line five, and you are – hold on here. I want to make sure I got your age right. 30 years old in Makati. What's up, Erwin? Hi. Hi, Hi Erwin. Lily. All right. Let's yes, go, Bruja Pink. What do you got, buddy? <laughs> Sorry, this is not a uh, sex question. It's all yeah, right. Uh, it's okay. A kind of relationship problem. Uh-huh. Um, my question is, um, how, how do you, especially for Mo, uh, I want yeah. to know the uh, guy's point of view. Uh, how, how do you handle a relationship where the girl um, act as a, the alpha of the group? Oh. Yeah, you know, this is a good question for, for Kat as well, too, because <laughs> Kat, you strike me as a little bit of a very dominant personality in a relationship. I, I don't know if you... I don't know if you quit on relationships where the guy's a little soft and you're tough or you like being alpha or, you know, you want yeah. somebody a little tougher than you. Um, and then I'll, I'll talk about me. I just want to talk about uh, Kat here a little bit because you strike me as a person that's outspoken. And By the way, don't, don't get me wrong. Um, I love her. Um, the, oh, the no, thing no, is, no, that's no, fine. No, no, don't worry. Yeah, no, I've really, we're, yeah, we're no, don't worry about that. It's, that. it's cool. That uh, my, al- oh, alpha. Yeah, I, I have had recent girlfriends that are a little bit more alpha than I am, and then I've had some ones that are not nearly as alpha as I am. So I've I've been in both cases. I, the reason why I want to throw it to Kat here is because she strikes me as you're you're a little alpha, Kat. I mean, I don't, you're not going to be stepped on. You're not going to be pushed no, around. No, you're going to do your shit. I am a little alpha. Like I don't take any crap. I mean, I believe in equality more than you know one being above the other. You know, I I like to have sure. a, a balanced relationship where you know we're kind of on the same page. But I do like for my men to be you know, manlier than I am, like stronger than I am. So if I, you know, crumple in a heap and start crying, he's not going to start crying with me, you know, and I need a, a manly sure. man, <laughs> That's me. you know, <laughs> so, um, but the thing is with my personality, the thing that I seem to attract is guys with mommy issues. That's one of my problems is that they are ma- macho uh, on the outside because, you know, when you don't have mommy around, you become tough. But then after a while, like, the the macho-ness fades and there's all these like deep and dark mommy issues that come out and they turn into babies. Now, what's a mommy issue? Because I I get a question I get the question a lot, especially on my ask is I'm dating a guy who's a mama's boy. You know what do I do? And I'm like thinking, you know what? Of all the other of all the relationships, because you know people always say, "Where's your dad? Dad issues, dad issues." I think the mom issues is 
Sometimes even worse. Yeah, mom issues can um, be really bad. They're awful. And and you know, I'll, I'll be honest. In, okay, thirty five year old now. So I mean, I've been in several relationships. My relationship that sucked the most are the ones where the girl didn't get along with her mom. It wasn't. Yeah. They've all had dad issues, but it was the relationship with the mom that really kind of drove the awful behavior in our relationship. So you know what's while, terrible while so, about so much, yeah, go ahead. sorry. You know what's terrible about mommy issues with girls though is that they seem to develop later than the daddy issues. So the daddy issues start out first, but the mommy issues because moms seem to have a problem with daughters later on in life. Like girls That's just true. in general seem to have a problem with each other. So moms tend to seem to act weirder when ki- like girls turn into teenagers, turn into adults. I don't know. They just don't seem to see eye to eye. I mean, me and my mother, we have our own problems, and it's it only started like recently so i'm like wait a right. second you know how could this happen how do i have mommy issues now but anyway <laughs> first call like, family <laughs> drama no but, great <laughs> uh, i i and my thing is this i think the, the the dad not being around or having an awful father really shapes you you're right at a younger age that emptiness th- those issues and stuff like that really kind of it carries on to your adult life and shapes you at a young age but you're right i mean the gr- the girl to mother relationship at a later stage I think that rears that ugly head is always there in a relationship when you're involved with it. But I, obviously, this is not your question, Erwin. I'm just kind of throwing that out there. Uh, we kind of veered off here. But girls who are a little bit more dominant in in your relationship, how do you? Do, I mean, you love her, but what it irritates you? Yeah. What's the problem with her being an alpha in it? Is she does she bully you? Sometimes that's not good. Uh, uh, a little bit. Uh, she's bullying me. Um, like uh, for example. Uh, we go to a place, and I know where it is. And the the thing is, she doesn't know where that place is, and I really know where that place. Is. I know where to go. Okay. But the, I- the the thing is, she she keep on insisting that hey, this is what we need to do. We need to ask something. But I, I keep on telling her that you know where I you're know going already. Where to go? So she's like nagging mm-hmm. you. Exactly. Well, it's, no, it's, but but it's different on nagging. I, I mean, mm-hmm. I think she really is. You know, she's she wears the pants. Like I here's I I'm a know it all. This is what we're gonna do, and um, See, it, they're, it's they're, tough and, because and the there are different kind of alphas that, as well. Like there there are control freaks. And this one sounds like she might verge on that one. Yeah. And then there are people who are just very strong personalities that they don't mean it, but they just kind of come across because they're. You know, very independent and like. And who strong picks people. the restaurant? Who picks the movie? When you're about to watch a movie, it's like, okay, let's see, what's what? What are we gonna watch? Are we gonna watch this or that? And she's like, I, I want this. Yeah. I mean, is it that also? Sometimes. Yeah. So tell us more about the 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 alphaness. Is it like a control freak type thing? Like you feel like she's kind of suffocating you in where it's like, no, we have to do this. No, I, I don't want to do that. I want to do this. Why are you doing that? Why don't you do this? Is it like that? I, I'm kind of feel that it's a control freak, um, but the, the the problem is uh, when when I have an opinion, okay, for certain things. Uh-huh. Uh, she, she's like a you cat that uh, she wants like an instant, you know, a, a real answer. It doesn't go around the bush. Okay. Uh, so when when I explain my opinion. She said that, hey, that I, I don't need that kind of answer. I, I need this, what we need to do, what's this, what's this. Yeah, see, I'm I don't think it's control freak, though. When I, I was hearing it earlier, I, 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 control freak is like, where are you going right now? No, you can't do that. I have to go with you. That's control. Like, yeah. you're controlling mm-hmm. the person's mm-hmm. life. This one is just kind of a full-on leader, know-it-all, bullyish kind of leader. Yeah, but, it's you know, like my way or the highway type thing, huh? Right, a lot Actually, of pants. Sometimes uh, that happens. What? Sometimes that happens. Sometimes. What happens? What where, happens? Uh, where the where the, the decision the decision is is her, not me. Yeah, well, and I, I don't know. If, uh, it, it's a little bit of a control freak, but I I think it's more just she doesn't respect your opinion. She doesn't. She thinks she obviously thinks she's brighter than you are. And when a person thinks highly of themselves, and, and sometimes I find myself doing this also, like when it comes to work, like if somebody has an opinion about the show, I'm like, uh, no, because I'm the greatest thing ever. You know, there, there's that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, yeah, Erwin, have, Erin, have you tried time. to talk to her about this? Like, have you told her how you feel? Yes. And what did she say? I, I mean, what did you say to her, and what did she say? How did she respond to you? What does she, what she keep on telling me is, just give me for if if we have something, we have a conflict. Just give me the answer. I don't need any explanation. Just give me the answer. I'm trying to do that. 
But when I give the answer, she doesn't accept it. You're still wrong. Yes. <laughs> okay, here's what it is, uh, Erwin. You know, uh, it starts with even your voice, man. When you start the show, it's like, hi, guys. Hey, hello. It's, you, I, can, I can feel like in my mind I could hear your head kind of crunching down and your shoulders kind of coming up. You know, you, there's that mannerism, that respectful, nahihiya kind of – I think you have to just be more aggressive. That's with actually your no, it's not more aggressive, okay? I'm going to tell you exactly what it is. She wants you to be more assertive. That's what she's looking for from you. She's bullying you right Definitely. now because you are not saying no, okay? Yeah, she wants like, balls. Yeah, you know? she wants and, you to grow a pair, <laughs> Yeah, she wants balls. So, and and sometimes it, 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 you can't help it because your voice is like that, your mannerisms, like your parents maybe raised you in a certain way that kind of makes you carry yourself like this. But it, you know, people are so different that when you take this kind of girl and this kind of guy together, there's going to be a lot of conflict. And it starts with just the delivery, because you, what you're saying is, I'm telling her what I want. I'm giving her the answer. I'm telling her I know the fucking way to this place, but she doesn't respect it. That's because maybe your delivery is a little weak. Now, not to say that this is your fault. She might just be a bitch. Okay, I'm sorry, but she could just be a fucking pain in the ass. But it would help if you were, as Kat said, which is a better word than aggressive, more assertive about yeah. your opinion, See, the more thing assertive is, about your decision. The thing that's bothering her, okay, is not the fact that you're not saying the right thing. It's the fact that she can make you change your mind, okay? So if you say to me, you know where the restaurant is, I say, no, you don't. We have to ask someone. And you're like, oh, I, I think, no, but I, I do know. I'm like, no, you don't. See, you don't know where you're going. We have to ask someone. And like, the more that I say that to you, the more you're going to back down. And I know it. You know, so if you actually stood up to her and said like, no, honey, look, respect my decision. I know where we're going. Can you just trust me? Say something like that to her and she'll just be blown away. She'll be like, holy crap, where'd your balls come from? And and people like that get shocked when you actually take the situation in, into your control and you're like, no, I'm putting my foot down. Put your foot down about stuff. If you know that you're right, put your foot down. Prove to her that you are right. Be assertive about yourself. Be confident in your decisions. Say that this is what you want or this is how you feel and stick with it. Don't let her push you back yeah, on your word. Yeah, and especially don't also let her kind of change your frame of mind. I mean, mm -hmm. it's like smelling blood with her. It's almost like an enjoyment. She gets to tell you something and then you have to go, oh, okay. Okay, sure. Okay. And then it's her's like, yeah, it's kind of adding fuel to this, to this thing that she's got going. So yeah, be assertive. Really don't take shit. And li listen, eventually it's going to wear you out because it's going to feel like she doesn't respect you. And she, maybe she doesn't even at this point. You need to either That's earn that respect. What I feel. Yeah, you, you feel need to like earn she it. doesn't respect you. Yeah, you need to earn yes. it by being tough. And if, if, if she still treats you like a fucking, you know, like like trash, then you just kind of say, hey, listen, I, I'm not going to take this shit anymore. Either you change immediately and, or I'm going to leave. And trust me, when she leaves or when you guys break up, she's going to have a harder time with the breakup than you, especially yeah, if definitely. you initiate it. If you initiate, if you go, hey, listen, because it really puts you at the old, you're like now all of a sudden showing ultimate control. You're like, I am now leaving you. And she's like, what? How can you leave me? You have no ability to make any decisions. Yeah, well, it'll too totally bad, bitch. Mess with her head. I'm fucking leaving. Fuck you. I'm going. And then all of a sudden, she's going to be, like, destroyed about it. More than you are. Okay? Yeah. All right. All right. So be tough, right. man. Be tough. Yeah, just be tougher be tough. about it, Erwin. And, and you know what? Because I'm kind of like this. I, I'm not a bitch, okay? But when men are insecure about themselves it drives me nuts like you know i'm not trying to make you scared i'm not trying to try to bully you i'm not trying to say anything but when you make a decision or you're trying to tell me something tell me straight you know tell me what the answer is don't mess around don't, oh, I, um, I, I don't know I, I just, just tell me the answer and it's not like you know we're trying to be bitchy it's just that we just want to be direct and but, but you know but at the same time cat i mean I, in our I culture that, but the, uh, she keeps on interrupting me well, you know, when I, when I keep on telling... Yeah, telling that's because that, she doesn't respect your authority, yeah, dude. she doesn't respect you. Just, you have to establish it. You know what? Honestly, it, it, you, have to, you have to... You know when you have to break your nose again? When your nose has been broken and it's set back in the wrong place, they have to break your nose again to put it back the right way, right? So this kind of sounds like you need to do that. You need to start the rules from the beginning again with this because she has no respect for you. So you kind of have to break that cycle and be like, look, this is where I stand now, and if you don't like it... We shouldn't be together anymore. Find things like I, I mean, I know this is manipulative, but find things you're better at than she is. I mean, if there are like, do you earn more money than she does? 
No, she, she is. She yeah. earns. Ah, yeah. uh, see, she's there you go. Uh, she's there. she's putting making her in a power more, position. Yeah, here. she's in a power. Yeah, try to play try right to now. find try to find something you're better at and, and kind of exploit those things. And that's an awful thing to say, but sometimes it's 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 true. Like, I mean, if you're better at mathematics, try to get in. Try to like curtail some of these uh, conversations to how I don't know that, that where you use your skills more. Well, then she uses her actually, skills, I have and then a that question. might kind of build up. You know, Erwin, how is your relationship in general, though? Like on a day-to-day basis, do you guys are you guys still happy? How long have you been together? Uh, we are. We're we're just uh, been for a couple of. Uh, I mean, almost a year. Okay, and almost, so you still have happy year. times with each other. Like, do you still like, hug each other, kiss, make love, yes, that kind do. of stuff? We do. And so it's just we do. the only the only thing that ir- irritates me is. You know, when when we have disagreements, something, disagreement, yeah. Okay, well then yeah. you need to find a better way to, to deal with it with her because if you're not feeling respected, you need to change that before yeah. it gets worse. It, it, you're gonna hate it, but yeah. you, listen, you're gonna you're gonna be the one leaving though. To be honest, so you know. or you should at least be the one leaving unless you yeah. grow no backbone and stay. All right, buddy. Thanks for the call, Aaron. Good luck All with right. that. Thank you. Thank you. Let's keep it going here. Four seven eight seven nine five four Skype. The Good Times Podcast. Text us here nine two seven two one four nineteen eighty one. Let's talk to Joey. Joey, you are twenty eight years old in Makati on line six. What's up, Joey? Joey. Joey. Hello, Joey. Joey. Twenty eight. Shitty office mates. Nope. No Joey. No, lost we lost the Joey. Been on hold too long. <laughs> um. Let's take an Back Ask FM break. question here. Okay. Go. And then I'll, yes, I'll, I'll, I'll go so to Korea here about this in, in, in a few FM. minutes. Uh, 23 year old, 23 year old male. I saw my mom having sex with my dad's friend the other night. Uh, I really want to tell my dad about it, but I'm really scared that it would lead to a divorce. I saw them in our kitchen banging while my dad was in his in the garage with his friends. <sighs> that is that's. Effed up, man. Awesome. That's screwed up. Mama was banging the friend in the kitchen while he was in the while garage the and his friends. Were drinking in the garage. And when the guys are drinking in the garage, they don't really stand up. You know, they, they'll sit down, polutan in hand, beers. They, they don't, those guys never get up unless they have to piss. Yeah. So you can actually fuck his wife in the fucking kitchen yep. and actually probably not be caught. And um, so this guy, 23 year old male. Finds his mom having sex with his dad's friend in the kitchen while the dad's with his buds in the garage. So should he tell her or not? Should he tell his dad? Should he tell? Yeah, the dad. Now, now I get a lot of these. This is a, one of the more common questions I get. Uh, I know my dad's fucking someone else. I know my mom's fucking someone else. Do I tell them? What do I do as a as a, as a as a? I don't kid? know. What would you say to that, Mo? Do you tell people well, that they should stir shit up like that? Absolutely. Most of the time, yes. Absolutely. Um, a, a lot of the questions I get are from teenagers, 15, who 16 years old, who have siblings that are 9 and 11, and this gets to be very more, uh, a, lot, a lot more complicated. This one, 23 years old, you fucking approach mom immediately. Yeah. You're like, mom, what the fuck are you thinking? You fucking, what, bitch, what, you know, it, it would be a lot of, like, aggressive stand on why she decided to do what she yeah, was doing. Yeah, approach the mom, but what about the dad? First, Does he tell the dad? Eventually, yes, you have to. But you have to push the mom first because you have to just hear that side. Yeah, I think that's a good way to do it as well. I mean, I wouldn't go and tell the dad right away. I would actually go to the mom and be like, what are you doing? Why are you doing this? I don't understand. Uh, you guys are married and that's his friend and all this. And then, you know, s- threaten to tell the dad if she doesn't. Like, you got to tell dad what you did. If you don't, I'll tell him. Right, right. I mean, it, it is... Because uh, I always feel that it's that. better. Like, I don't encourage children to, um, you know, snitch on their parents. It's not a good thing. You don't? And, and, no, I don't. Why? Like Because it does create psychological damage. You, you don't want damage, them to make some you know? no, Yeah, because it um, does create damage for kids, okay? As but much as you the think that they're damaged older, already that they just found... They just saw their mom boning someone else. Yeah, but else, it's even worse if you get caught in that bullshit with the parents. You know, it's like, you know, you tell the dad and the dad fights the mom. Then the mom gets mad at him and then he gets bullshit from both sides. And then if they split up, you know, it's his but fault. But doesn't it eat away you know, at you like as a no, kid? No, but see that's the- why like 
he has to tell his mom to tell the dad. And if she doesn't, he, she's already been warned and then he will tell the dad. You know what I mean? But she has to do it first. And if she doesn't, then he tells the dad. But I always say that it should be between the parents first and foremost because that's really how, but how will where the, the parents issues know, are. You know? Like, for example, the dad will never know. The, well, maybe the dad eventually will catch the mom banging somewhere else. But... How is the dad going to know? Like, no, how can they even sort but out But that's their what I mean. Like, no he goes to his mom. He's like, hey, mom, you're fucked up. You're a bitch. You're a hoe. You're a slut. You fucked over my dad. You better tell him or I'll tell him. So it's like he'll give him, he should give his mom like a week. Be like, I'm going to give you a week to tell dad what you did. If you don't, then I'm going to tell him myself. You know, so at the mother has, yeah, the mom should, the mom though. should have a chance to deal with this on her own. It's their relationship still. I know that the kid is going to get, you know, involved in this at some point anyway, but between breakouts between people, that's still a relationship between the mom and the dad and any ending of it should not, you know, there should be no opportunity for the parents to put the blame on the kid. I don't, you know, I don't encourage that at all. Like, Fair un- enough. Unless- I, I don't agree, but I I see what you're coming. From. I see where you're coming from. I just don't agree. I I, I think you tell because um, I don't know. It, it, it's just, I think you tell too. You definitely, but o- only you definitely, if the mom doesn't tell first. You know. Fair enough. Fair enough. But you definitely approach the person that you caught and you ask and you get their side first before Absolutely. you go to the. It's kind of. I, and I'm sorry for all the Dexter references I make, but you know, like if you watch Dexter, Dexter's gonna kill this guy instead of killing him right away. He wakes him up and then he asks him, "What the fuck are you thinking?" And then sometimes the guy was able to give an answer like it was self-defense and then he doesn't kill him. Yeah. But generally you find out first, why the fuck were you doing that? And then tell yeah. uh, the, the other side. Um, let's go to, we got Saudi Arabia on the phone and we have Korea on Skype. So let's wow. go to Saudi first because they're spending money on that call. Yeah. While Korea can hold a little bit. Saudi, you are uh, Zeth, 27 years old in Saudi Arabia. What's up, Zeth? Hello, Zeth. Line. Oh, sorry, six. I'm on air right now. Hello. Hello. Hi, oh, sorry. Zeth. Yeah, we hear you. Hey, you know, you uh, couldn't use Skype. Uh, you didn't have to call. Uh, because my, uh, my internet here is not good. That's why I'm just calling here and uh, cell phone only. Okay. Yeah, all right. So, well, uh, thanks. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, good evening, guys. And good evening, Mo. I mean, good morning, guys. In your place. Yeah, that's right. Uh, that's right. Okay. What's up? Okay, by the way, uh, okay, this is my problem. Regarding on my... Uh, this is my partner because we've been separated this. Uh, I mean, we, we already break up this last week only. Okay. So the thing is, I didn't know how can I get rid of this problem because, you know, I cannot focus here in the work because I'm always thinking of it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. How, know, do you, how do you move on? I, I how, long have you, yeah. how long were you guys together? Uh, uh, we've been together for seven years. Oh. oh, that's wild. Okay, and then why did you break up? Yeah, uh, because uh, I think she's been lying to me. Then I think uh, we have a third party also. Oh, and are you sure about the that? Pub? There was a third party for definite. Yeah, uh, used, uh, I will. Uh, wait, uh, if you don't mind, I will tell some small story only because here's the story. Uh, this last, this year, I came from, I came back for the Philippines, so I have a vacation for one month only. Uh-huh. So she stay, she, because she's staying in the province and I'm staying in the, uh, in the, here in the, in Manila, yeah. Then, uh, I'll, I'll pay this all, she's staying in my house, then, you know, they have, meron kasi siyang isang kasama na, Lesbian, then I don't know, because I'm I'm not that, that I'm not that kind of guy that is still also yeah, basta okay. yun yeah. So well, well, wait, hold on, hold on, one, one second, Zeth, Zeth, you're in Saudi now, and you were in vacation in Manila when you yeah. saw the lesbo living, sorry, lesbian living <laughs> with your wife. Um, did you? And then when you're in Saudi, she's still in the province, right? It's long distance. Yeah, she's Ooh. staying in the province. So when I came back to the that Philippines, on her. then we talked, we talked together that she's staying in my in in my side side house. Okay. So uh, uh, I've been the, in the Philippines for one month only. So yung yung isang isang buwan na stay ko kasi sa Pilipinas, so parang alam mo nagsama nga kami pero parang wala din, parang wala nangyari. Hindi ko kasi siya ramdam mo, parang wala, kasi wala. 
Shit. So, so kasi siyang kasamang sabi niya, may best friend daw siya na isa na uh, hindi daw lesbian, pero I think nakikita na medyo kita kasi yung mga kasama na best friend na may pag-lesbian siya. Pero sinasabi lang niya sa akin na pero okay, sinasabi niya lang na sinasabi na girl. Uh, okay, Zed, Zed, yeah, Zed, here's the thing. Here's the thing. So your initial problem is how do you move on? How do you get over this relationship because it's affecting your work? You know, I- I'll tell you. Yeah, th- yeah, yeah. If, if I could break up with my girlfriend for the reason that she's a oh. lesbian, that's the best scenario possible when it comes to third parties. Like, especially for girls too. <clears throat> like, for example, Kat, you're in love with your boyfriend. You're really into him. Say you and I were dating. Yeah. Super into me. You know, relationships seem to be okay. Uh-huh. Then it kind of got on the rocks. We've been together forever, and then you really find out that I'm fucking butt being butt fucked by another guy. Oh, yes, damn. I'm cheating on you, but is there any better scenario for a third party than you knowing know, that it man. had nothing to do with you? You know, that I am in fact a homosexual. I think that yes, I do agree with you in the fact that okay, it had nothing to do with me, but at the same time, I think it's a little bit different for girls than it is for guys. For a guy, if a girl goes off with a lesbian. You know, it's it's all right. It's it's not as kind of graphic. But for a woman, if your man has been being butt fucked by a gay guy and his dick has been being sucked by him and stuff like that, that's a little bit well, grosser. No, I'm trying to paint a picture because this guy, I mean, it's a long distance relationship. You guys have been together seven years, but you are in Saudi Arabia. So it's not like you're with her every single day and all of a sudden this is a shock out of nowhere. Long distance relationships fail. Yeah. Uh, you know, and... and if you put that together with now she's homosexual, this is really a – I'm not saying it's good news, but if there's any way that I'm going to be cheated on, this is how I want to be cheated on. I want to be cheated on with my girlfriend who lives in Manila. I'm in Saudi, and by the way, she's having fucking lesbo threesomes with the two lesbians who live with her. Wait. I mean, to me, that's like – that's exactly what's supposed to happen and has nothing to do with me. Is that and I so- think. Yo, go, go ahead, go. Finish, go ahead, go ahead. finish it. No, no, go. Um, no, and, and I think I, I just think that, parang, you, you're heartbroken right now. I'm trying to tell you that this is the best case scenario. Yeah, that it has nothing it to do with worse. you. That you don't need to think about it because, okay, did you even ask Zeth, uh, your your girl, if she is a lesbian? Did you ask her that? Yeah. What, 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 did you ask? Did you ask if, if she's a lesbian? Sila has basha. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think she can't hear you because of the cell phone. Uh, I'll do it. Um, did you ask your girlfriend if she was a lesbian? Yeah. Uh, no, she's not She's not lesbian. Actually, we have one son. Uh, may alam ako yeah, it doesn't mean that she yeah. has. No, because, but, but it doesn't mean that, you know, because of your absence, she didn't have, she didn't establish some sort of connection with this girl that she lives with and now that they're together. That's, that's easily, that can be done. I mean, females are not like grossed out by like guys are grossed out by naked guys like if you're a straight guy you don't want to see a dick ever girls can you know they can establish some sort of emotional connection and then almost transform into not lesbian maybe but but into a homosexual relationship listen let's just get let's just stick why don't we do this let's just stick to the heartbreak part yes okay zeth you're heartbroken it happens yes relationships end long distance relationships end but you have a few things going for yourself number one you're used to being away from her you're used to being distant from her because you live in Saudi. That that's great. You're 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 yeah. you know that that's a good start. Secondly, third party, likely a female. That means she established a connection with another girl. It, it, it could be your fault because you're not around, but it's almost expected sometimes with the long distance relationships. But also, Zeth, you have to remember. I mean, they always say that breakups are. Um, you, it takes half the time that you were in a breakup to really fully get over it. I mean, I'm not saying that you don't get over it in the process, but it does to take it. It'll take you about three and a half years to get over this fully, you know, emotionally healing and all that stuff. But at the same time, it, it, it doesn't really matter. Like Mo said, you, you're used to being away from her. Um, if she likes another woman, it's nothing to do with you. It's about, another woman not about a man and that's fine that's not even your fault you don't have a vagina it's okay but also what you're sad about is memories that you're rethinking in your head about you and her you know being together and being in love and being happy and you guys have a son which really you know is a bit difficult in this situation if she likes women now but um it's not the same anymore when you went back for a month to be with her it wasn't the same 
and it's not what you was, were in yeah. love with. So right. it's you. You are just reminiscing or, about the past, which no longer exists. That's what but, I'm trying to tell you. Which is also very, which also very normal, Zeth. Zeth, this yes. is all normal. The ability well, to not, the inability to concentrate on work, all of these, these are all normal. Absolutely. It's, so it's going to take time. If I were you, yeah. you know. It doesn't help that you're away. I mean, I don't know what your life like is, is what your life is like in Saudi, but do you have you friends know, there? Yeah, what, what? Do you have friends, do you have friends there? Do you have people to Saudi? hang out with in Saudi? You have a barcada? Uh, yes, medyo, medyo mara, medyo mara <laughs> yeah, sorry, the cell, yeah, the cell phone's getting off. Do me, do me a favor. Just uh, listen to the download. Yeah, no, no. Listen, do me a favor, Erwin. Uh, Zeth, sorry, Erwin's the other guy. Zeth. Listen to the yeah, podcast, yeah. download yeah. it, just and you'll you'll hear us say this. It's part of it. I mean, really, what you're going through is just a heartbreak, and yeah. time will heal it. We all go through it. Everybody calls every single night regarding what to do about moving on. It takes time. Just don't beat yourself up about it either. I mean, don't don't make yourself get over it right now. Like, don't force yourself to be better. Okay, it's okay, it's okay that you're damaged. It's all right. It's good. It means you actually love this person. That you went through something with them. You shared something with them. You have a son with her. Like, of course, you're gonna have attachment. But now it's different, and you need to remember that you need to move on. But let yourself mourn about it. Let yourself cry if you want to cry by yourself, or hang out with friends, talk to them about it. You know, everybody goes through it. So, you know, find yourself a support group, keep yourself busy, you know, work hard, go out, find a hobby, I don't know, go drinking with your buddies and, and just you know, focus on being yourself again, you know? Thanks, Jess, for the call. We appreciate you know, it. I you don't, know. We, we, don't, I, oh, I, we don't have any, uh, you know, my, my life here is only work, then I will come back to my room, then sleep only. So every time I yeah, go to sleep, then that's tough. Ah, uh, you know, yeah, that's tough. I all I can, you know, my my heart and my brain is will be separated. My brain is keeping telling telling to me that keep away on this girl. But my heart, ah, uh, I get some feeling for him, but I don't know. <laughs> you yeah, know, I, again, it's totally normal, don't. Zeth. It's Zeth, normal. Zeth, you just have to remember what reality normal. is. Yeah, yeah, that's all normal. It, it's part of the heartbreak process. I just want you to concentrate on your work though i mean i know it's maybe it's a boring life there and nothing's really going on and, and you keep thinking about this girl but you got to concentrate on your job at least at least the job is an escape i mean it, even though it's affecting your work you also have to realize that the eight hours or ten hours you put in is ten hours less you have to think about your girlfriend so it, so actually embrace the work because it helps you remove at least for a temporarily 10 of the 24 hours, you're thinking yeah. about something else. Yeah, but to also I need you to concentrate on Try it. not to be alone with your thoughts when you're not at work. Like, go for a walk or something. I don't know. Go out to, I don't know, oh, either parks or a beach yeah. or something. At, at least yeah, be outside, you know. Be out Over in the world and be happy about yeah. the world. I mean, that helps. Go next to a sandstorm and then kind of run for your life. <laughs> it helps you think about not, you know, not about the breakup and shit. Right, Thanks camel. for the call, Seth. We got to go. All right, so we got to take a break. We're super late here. All right, go. Uh, we got a lot of calls tonight, so yeah. we got to get to them. Uh, it is Good Times from the Podcast, season two. When we come back, call from Korea. Girl, uh, this guy that uh, she's chatting with keeps sending pictures of his dick. Yeah. She doesn't like it anymore. <laughs> so we'll talk to Korea <laughs> in just a little bit. Plus, uh, we got calls from Mahati, provinces as well. Keep, keep it coming. Catalano on the program tonight. Phone number 478-7954. Skype the Good Times Podcast. Text us, 0927-214-1981. Back in just a few minutes. Stay tuned. We'll return after this commercial break. Good All Stars, we're always on the move. It's really important for us to get better and stronger for every competition that we get into. For all the different lifestyles that we have. Some of us are graphic artists, filmmakers. We still find ways to get together. We put a lot of effort in practicing and rehearsing. Sometimes may mga bigla ang shows or auditions, so it's really important for us to get connected. I use my Globe group messaging to get a hold of everybody else. Malayo na rin ang narating namin, marami na rin kaming napuntahan. So it's really important to get connected. M3 Day Sale. Every 
everything for the stylish techie is at SM Supermalls this August. It's the SM three-day sale on August 30, 31, and September 1 at SM City Manila. SM three-day sale. Up to 70% off on great finds. Shop and get a chance to win Suzuki motorcycles. SM the SM three day sale on August 30, 31, and September 1 at SM City Manila. See posters and print ads for details. Per DTI NCR permit number 8632, series of 2013. Take a little sunshine, grab a little rainbow, mix in a smile, step for a while. Sabrina's kitchen, what you waiting for? familiar with a with a game chubby bunny but what's um chub, what's like have you, have you played chubby bunny before no you put a marshmallow in your mouth you say chubby bunny and you keep putting it in your mouth and you okay. keep saying chubby bunny okay whoever Let's can get it. the most in their mouth wins but we're not gonna say chubby bunny we're gonna say we're gonna have a conversation okay perfect yeah so i'm gonna ask you okay gonna va okay. and you're gonna be like okay na okay na okay 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 yeah go two at a time all right i'm gonna do two at a time Okay, can I buy? Okay, no, okay, no. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw it. <laughs> okay, can I buy? Okay, no, okay, no. <laughs> okay, can I buy? Okay, no, okay, no. Okay, no, okay, no. Okay, no, okay, no. Okay, no, What show? That show! It's a show! You know, all that show! It's that show, buddy. Oh, that show! Oh. Yeah, that show's cool. We talk about. Oh, 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 oh what does this look like? Vagina? And. Like a double blowjob! Vagina? Who is the asshole that decided to shave this shit off the entire planet? Sometimes we like to talk about... It's like when you guys like high-fiving on a girl and then you're doing her in the butt and you're doing her in the mouth. High-five, bro. Vagina? Vaginas? And you're jacking off really intensely but like massaging your balls and shit. I'm not talking about a Chewbacca, man. I'm just talking about a nice little, you know? Vaginas. And don't miss that spot, like the cowper's gland. It's like in between your balls and your asshole. But not me, because I'm a guy. Yeah, that's a cool show. You should watch it. I, I think we're on on Tuesday. got jaundice. Jaundice is different from jaundice. Jaundice is buntis, like that. But she does not do <laughs> Tears up! Tears up! Anyway, jaundice does not know. <laughs> this is professional show. I will put the merienda here. <laughs> so jaundice. And I'm now Happy to present to you Carlo Tayo. Look at me, the third of it. Tayo, so many snacks. Ano ba to? Ganyan ba yan? Tapos. Ang puti. Ay, tapo. Dito ba pwede ba dyan? Pwede, pwede. Concealer. Ba? <laughs> yeah, no, para sa show mo, ha? O. Oh. Aray ko. Ang mayaya ba? Pwede ba itong ano? <coughs> Zora. Pang ano ba to? Oil absorbing. Pwede ba itong pang nose line? <laughs> Okay, oh. may caution. A when, caution! When caution! Mas na glamour te! When used for the first two weeks, more pimples will appear. Aburahin na, aburahin na siya. Oh my God! Te! Sorry, ma. <laughs>
Ito talaga. Pwede bago yan. Don't worry. Buti ako sa mata lang. Hindi naman nagkakap niyo. Buti dapat pala caution mo na yung pinaka Join your host, Carrots Nazareno, on Live Love Lulz every Thursday, 7.30 to 8.30, only here on The Factory. My girlfriend says she hates me. It's Good Times with Mo, the podcast. Call the show tonight and get your love problem answered. Follow us on Twitter at GTWM Podcast and visit www.motwister.com. Back on the program here on this Thursday night, Kat Alano is here. You can follow Kat at Kat Alano on Twitter. Kat, and I mean, last time you were here, you had a uh, singing engagement. Is that uh, coming up or did uh, that pass? No, it got canceled because apparently uh, the club got sold or something. So it just went down the toilet. But the we're working on a, another gig at the moment. So we're in discussions but, uh, with somebody else, two other people. Yeah, for, so. for people who don't know, because you see Kat, like, or you hear Kat here on the podcast, you heard her on the radio, and of course you've seen her on TV for many years. But she is a singer, and she's a darn good one. Thank so, you so uh, much. If you ever kind of hear that cat has a gig and you go what really she sings oh she sings i sang at a a hosting gig actually i did last week and you know when people expect you to be terrible and you kind of know that they expect you to be terrible so i got on stage and i was like yeah i'm gonna sing a little and i see all these people kind of go yeah okay sure let's see this and nobody really reacts but i always get this really shocked look on people's faces when i start singing (laughs) they're like Whoa. What happened? <laughs> like, like that. And then they just don't know what to do. They're like, whoa. It's like Sam Milby, even till this very day, he's a friend of mine. Every time he pulls out a guitar and he's about to sing, I'm like, really, dude? And then he sings, I'm like, oh, he's actually kind of cool. He's pretty good. You know, it's, it's I know. Where that. is he? Is he actually here at the moment? I haven't seen him or heard from him in a long well, time. Well, uh, he is in San Francisco as we speak, but okay. coming back to Manila, should have landed any second now. All right. um, yeah, he's still in Manila. He does, he does a lot of work still, so. All right, let's get to these calls. You want uh, Korea, uh, we have Makati, we have someone else in the Philippines here. What do you want? What's Korea's problem? Yeah, let's do that. I like kimchi. All right, April, you are on line five. Korea. Yes, hello, Mo. Hi, Hi, April. Hi, Kat. Hi, Kat. And Mo, we may crash since 1999. I got off a Twitter account because just so I could follow you. Yeah, and I was telling friends to listen to Mo podcast. Good time to do a podcast and their now. Thank you so yeah. much. I appreciate that. How many yeah, years have you been think, abroad? Yeah. Sorry? How many years have you have how many years have you been abroad? I, I've been here I've been here since two thousand two thousand three. Oh. I came yeah, back here with my accent. We met yeah, in, see. in back in Philippines. You know Mo, we he he's been my boyfriend. He he's my boyfriend since I was sixteen, we're each other's first. So wow. I'm one of his hey. love you. Wow. Yeah, yeah, you're one of the ones that I, 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 yeah, I would call you, I would call you crazy and any other thing. But if you guys are doing it successfully, then God bless you. Good, good for you. Good job. Uh, well, well, yeah. We hold hands when we sleep. Oh, <laughs> that's sweet. Here's my, that's awesome. Here's my question. In, it's not, yeah. it's not as if the first time that I have seen a dick pic, you know. But but there's the guy. But it's usually when when I get like photo of it, I just would I would ignore them. But this time. It's, Different because he's like a celebrity friend. And, he's a what? Um, he's not your really what? Cele- celebrity not really friend. Celebrity oh, okay. <laughs> not really celebrity as actor, but it's not Deether, is it? <laughs> yeah, in, in the business, it's like he's like everyone wants to take picture with him. Oh, is everyone it Wally with him. He's like he's been everywhere. He's actually friends with Liz Owen, George Wilson, and all that. Oh, and shit. Well, calling up. people whoa, out. Whoa, calling whoa, people whoa, out. The friends of Georgina Wilson. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. Like, wait who is... Hey, wait, wait. Shut, April, shut up. So listen, I love you. <laughs> Hold on. Who is... Who's who's this guy? What's his name? Uh, why did everything go funny? Uh, I'm later. <laughs> anyway. No, no, no. What's his name? Tell me. No, April. April. Hey. Sorry. Who? What's the guy's name? He's not a celebrity actor. He's like I don't actor care. in this company. He, he owns company something i couldn't tell probably private i could say it <laughs> anyway what? okay do me wait wait april do me a favor i want you to type his name on your skype window <laughs> and then they're gonna type yeah, it to I, me i, I just want to know who is. Fuck this. give us the All initials right, give us the initials come on initials no you know you don't know him you don't know him how could we All not right, know right. him if he's a celebrity I mean, actor he's and he's friend of georgina wilson do you know how small manila is 
He's not an, he's a celebrity in a certain, like in a sense, but he's not an actor. But uh, you know, I mean, maybe we know Georgina's friends. Anyway, never the, nevertheless. Okay, continue. What okay, happened? So, so, of course, he, he before we met, he's like, like I wanted to meet him, and finally we met last December. We had Christmas no, two December ago. Um, we, we that was the first time we met, and then we became friends. After that, Facebook friends. Then he he started to flirt with me, but I just ignored, so I stopped chatting with him, and then he asked me again when I, when I may come back to the Philippines. I said, I'm coming back this January, blah, 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 and then he, he wanted me to meet up with me. I said, after this, this January 20, I said, and then, no, I'm getting married on January 19th. So we, we didn't meet. And then he, after, no, two weeks ago, he messaged me, he said, thanks for unfollowing, in, follow, unfollowing me in Instagram. I'm glad that we're, something, something like that. And then, he he kept on actually he he's, when when he he before he sends a pic he will he would he would go like do you want a pic of my do you want a pic of my dick and then I would say no but he would still send me pic so I don't know how I, he like three day, three nights ago he sent me he said hi I ignored it I didn't say I didn't reply because I wanted wanted to say this, but I want it to be more like, like, hey, I'm happy with friends, but I'm just not interested with your dick. Do um, you think more if I tell you that you will be offended? Um, wait a second. You're married, right? Did I get that wrong? Yeah. yeah. You're married. Yeah, I'm yeah. married. They hold and does, he know, does he know that you're <laughs> married? <laughs> They're like he otters. That's married. cute. He knows that you're married. He knows okay, I'm time married. Out. Okay, listen, April. Your if your husband finds out, he's gonna think you're cheating on me. I told my, my I told him. He said, "Look at this. Someone sent me this, day, and we were laughing." Yeah, but does your husband know that that someone is actually a guy that you've met up with and is a friend of yours and is sending you yeah. messages about pictures of yeah, his dick? Knows. I mean, uh, some you know, guys aren't wow. insecure about that stuff. Does he have, yeah, a, he does he have he, a big he likes, dick? He, he likes sending me messages during nighttime. That, that's the time I'm with my husband. He's watching TV and I'm on my phone. And then I would tell him, you look at his dick. See, he's trying to message me again. And then he, he, just, he just doesn't care because he trusts me. Okay, no, well, he okay. Knows. let me ask you this. Why is it so important for you to be friends with this guy? That's true. What's, no, your, actually, what's your question? No, actually, I want to ignore him now. I just wanted to block him. Block him. But I'm thinking, is there any way that I could possibly say it to him in a polite way, in a way he's not that bastos naman? He would say, hey, he, you want to my dick? Something like that. Ana, ano ka ba? Wow. You know, Magpapakasal April, na si Gago. So, yeah. He's gonna get married himself on the 19th, okay? So, no, ngayon... he's married now. He's married now. Oh, oh listen, time on, 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 time Yes. Doesn't she have a moral obligation to ask for a dick photo with his face and then send it to the <laughs> wife? I mean, really? I mean, you he know, is such a you are a shitster, prick. Mo. You are a shitster, and you're going to get involved in this shit now. Um, because, well, yeah. I mean, why not? I mean, it really depends on if she wants to stir shit or not. The thing is, that comes with a lot of drama. I know, She's but still, Korea. you know, you still get the Facebook messages. You get a bunch of friends with the hate no, mail and all that crap. Who cares? Like, it's who fun. needs to deal with that, though? I because mean, I to she clearly told him, stop. I don't want to see your dick. And he'll send the dick photo anyway. Yeah, my question he is, though, why is she still talking to him? Dude sends you a picture of his dick and you don't want to see it. Why would you still talk to this creepy this guy? girl and her husband are so laid back and so in love and so happy about everything. They sleep with their fucking holding hands at night. I mean, <laughs> they're, such, they're so kind of like... They're such Chill. positive people, yeah, yeah and relax yeah. and whatever. That like I'm like, hey babe, guess what? My friend just saw me, so sent me a picture of his dick. Oh, that's fucking funny, babe. Hey, you got to see this on TV. You know, yeah, it's like it's yeah. nothing. Yeah, it is. Dude, I mean, to them, it's nothing. But at the same so time, most it's like, relationships, if you send a hi, ka na? Ka na? Ano ba you know, you know, uh, this is a dick photo. Yeah, that's what I mean, though. It's like, yeah, fine. Sure, it's cool with her husband. They don't care. I mean, yeah, I'd probably be the same way with my husband. You know, like, hey, honey, look, this guy sent me a picture of his dick. But I would then delete him. I wouldn't keep him on my Facebook and keep letting him send me pictures of his dick, especially if he has a wife. 
Now but maybe she should do that. Him. Maybe maybe you should. It. I know, but still, I will, come yeah, on. I, okay, if okay, a, where that's are even you? worse. Okay, okay. If I right, told cat. you, okay, Mo, you send me a picture of your dick <laughs> and you're like, you know, hey, hey, cat, look at my dick. And I'm like, Mo, please don't, please don't send me any more pictures of your dick. And you're like, hey, look at this one. This is a side view. Like, you're just being a dick because you're not respecting my right. wishes to is not send me penis photos. Is it your rule? Is it your obligation? Now, and maybe I'm asking the wrong girl here because, Kat, you're, you're an independent and like we were establishing earlier, a little bit of a, you know, a dominant and an understanding mm-hmm. kind of girl. Mm-hmm. But to me, isn't it your role? Like, is it like a girl code that you have to send this to my wife and say, hey, listen, your husband is fucking around. And I appreciate it. If, not that I appreciate if you not only would he stop, but B, I just want you to know what's going on. What's your take on Sumbong? I've done that before. Nagsumbong na ako when I was really Lovely. young. I did. I and made Sumbong. And, and they're like still the together. They're still together. They have four kids. They're very happy. And uh, it turned out the, that guy was banging her best friend before he was banging me. So uh, Did you feel good about I yourself? I was off the hook. Oh, well, yeah, of course, because I felt a lot better about the fact that I wasn't lying to anybody and that I just told the truth and love and Fantastic. blah, blah, blah. So you're okay with me telling this girl to get a dick and face photo? Yeah, and send it to totally. Boy. Yeah, I, I mean, Love as it. long as she she's okay with the the backlash, because there will be backlash. Like the girl's gonna try and blame her, because you know that's the problem with this girl code crap. Is that it would work in theory if girls actually appreciated other women telling the truth. That's true. But the thing is, women girls backlash and they're like, "Fuck you, you fuck my man," and they don't get yeah, angry right. at the man. They get mad mad at the girl who just told you them know, the you're, truth. You're hundred percent right. I, I get a lot of these questions on on my ask where it's like, my boyfriend is, uh, you know, my boyfriend left me for another girl. I want to get revenge by fucking him. I'm like, what's that revenge? I, uh, what, who, <laughs> it's revenge on the new girl. Right? I'm like, no, it's not. Your boyfriend just gets to fuck two chicks then. I mean, exactly. Like, yeah. See, that's, that's my true. point. Girls, like, girls have a very odd outlook. They want to fuck over other girls. And I, it's just getting worse, to be honest with you. I don't know if women have always been like this. I suppose they have. But I just think it's getting worse. I think it's being encouraged enough, by right. society, you know? All right. However, that being said, I would like you, April, to get a photo of this guy and his dick and send it to the wife. If you don't know the wife, send it to Georgina or whoever. <laughs> anyway, uh, can, can I say something? Sh- yeah, go ahead. Because Kat asked earlier that why do I, keep, why do I still talk to him? Yeah. It's, it's because we work in the same company. He's, he's my leader. Um, the, the last time I, talk, I met him was that because I wanted to ask him something. So he replied, and then after he replied to my question, he he tried to flirt with me again. So I just ignore ignore every time he has to flirt with me. Actually, I the, the t- one you're trying to ad- the advice I, I, you gave me, Mo, actually yeah. could, I could do that. Especially his wife is just a power. The, the wife's family is powerful in Pampanga. Uh, so oh, they I even had an up prenuptial agreement. So, I would do it. Anyway, do it. Then, you're, you're in Korea, man. So, I'm not gonna uh, touch your ass over there. You're fine. I would it, do it. It's fucking yeah. fun. Have, yeah. Can I ask another question? Go. Sure, love. I want to know who this guy is, man. Uh, yeah, me too, man. Kat, what's the difference? Uh, I want to ask Kat. What's the go, difference go. between uh, an uh, orgasm during sex and an orgasm during cunnilingus? Ooh. It's like I don't have an O during sex. I don't. O during sex, but I do have great O during cunnilingus. Or well, probably I'm having, but I'm just I just don't know if it's if it's definitely. no there's no difference yeah there's no difference there's, no, there's, it's the same, there's right? no difference like um the the cunnilingus the fact that you're having an orgasm during cunnilingus it, it are you being yeah. uh stimulated on your clitoris yeah okay so yeah. you're probably a clit stimulated woman and the thing is that's right you know it can be different when you're having sex like the g-spot stuff maybe if you want to have an orgasm during sex you should get your husband to play with your clit while you're fucking so that you have that yeah. simulation as well. Because sometimes if you're just having sex and he's just banging you and your clit's not being simulated, it can be a bit difficult. I mean, having Yeah, orgasms- you're not going to get an orgasm. You're, I mean, she won't because she really needs – she needs a, a, she needs some sort of stimulation on the clitoris. Cat's right. Yeah. Why, why not do this position? Lie down in the spoon position where you're you – know, you know how you're lying down asleep with your holding hands part? He's hugging you from behind. His dick is inside you. And then he reaches yeah. over, his, his hand reaches over and starts playing with your clitoris. So while you're penetrating, you're getting penetrated, you're getting a clitoral stimulation as well in a spoon position. That should be able to do it for you uh, to get the also, clitoris stimulated. You can also, sorry, well, last thing, you know, yeah. they, they sell these toys. And I'm not a big believer of these fucking, like, cock rings. Like, I'm good with, 
Yeah, I'm good with sex and toys and stuff really like that work. in terms of like vibrators and all that stuff. But yeah, I was going to ask you, how does that thing, that, that little ring you put on your dick that has that vibrating kind of piece? I think Durex uh, makes it. You yeah, can buy no, it at they do, they do. They, they make them. Yeah. The thing is, the cock ring is that it's kind of like, it's not constant simulation, you know? And with somebody who's a, a clit simulated person, like generally you have to have constant simulation. But if you're wearing the cock ring, it's kind of just in and out with the penis instead of fully there all the time. <coughs> so it's actually better to have like a vibrator. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. There's this one, not the cock. Okay, it's it's still a ring you put on your dick, but it has like a little. There's I mean, a knob like a on mentos, it. Yeah, mental size. Yeah, thing but there if you're that, fucking and he's going in and out of you, it's not on your clit the whole time. No, 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 no. That's meant for cowgirl position. He's on his back. Uh -huh. The girl's on top. Cock uh -huh. ring on because there's a lot of when you're in when you're in a. Uh, cowgirl position there's not a lot of in and out like bouncing going true, on it's true. a lot of it's more, more kind of uh, grinding. grinding yeah grinding. right and with that grind you're gonna get that little vibrating thing working on your clitoris and yeah. here's another thing why not uh, go brazilian i've always seen the like girls that i've slept with that are clitoris stimulators when they shave everything off they have an easier time getting stimulated when in the cowgirl position I don't know about that so well yeah that, i mean if that, that works work yeah maybe bit. but also april i mean do you touch yourself do you masturbate yeah, I can work in a try and as position. And I just don't know if it's the same feeling. Well, an orgasm is an orgasm is an orgasm, okay? I mean, uh, it's sometimes... The same, right? During sex. Yeah, it, it's going to feel the same if when you're... If it's painful or if it's a well, pleasure. So I couldn't do it in shape. Okay, well, if there's pain, there could be something else there that you might need to have checked out. Or your husband has a gigantic penis, Mazel Tov, and he's, you know, hitting something inside there that could be, you know, kind of hurting you a little bit, reference. you know. But, okay, um, so basically, you're, you're saying that it's the same feeling that the twitching of the muscle and everything. Yeah, you know? yeah. If you're yeah, having an orgasm be. when you're yeah. having sex. Listen, if you masturbate, you know, you touch your clit like when you're masturbating. Yeah. Can you get yourself off yeah. when you're masturbating? Do you have orgasms you, when you masturbate? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so um, what you can do as well is when your husband's having sex with you, why don't you try touching yourself? Do you ever finger yourself when he's fucking you? No, no, I don't. Try I don't it. Do that. Try it. I mean, okay. you know, number no, one, no. men like Very to popular watch. Korea. You know, they really like to watch when you do that kind of stuff. It, it turns them on when you're pleasuring yourself. They know that you're getting pleasure. It makes them happy. So try fingering yourself okay. and, and touching your clit while he's having sex with you. You can do it in any position. Missionary, doggy, cowgirl, whatever. You can still have access to your clit or get but him to do that, it. Okay, yeah, you're right, Kat. That you can do that. And you see that a lot. People do that in porn all the time. Um, and you're right. Certain guys like that move. I'm okay with it. But isn't it kind of good just to not know that you have your hands working your genitals? Like, like you know, when you're getting a blowjob, you know when guys get a blowjob, every now and then they'll do that move where they'll put their hands behind their head and be like, yeah. Because yeah. you know how many years... I had to put my hand on my dick to get this feeling. Now I'm getting it done. I'm going to put my hands as far from my dick as possible because this is just awesome. Yeah, but it's kind of different for girls because, you know, the clitoris is in a totally different place. I mean, yeah, you guys have balls that can be stimulated and all that, but your penis is the most sensitive thing, so getting a blowjob or something is fine. But when you're having sex for a girl, you know, Nothing is hitting your clit. It needs to be simulated. So unless your husband, April, wants to do it for you where he's, like, touching your clit and everything while you're having sex, then that's cool so you don't have to do anything. But if you want to get off, like, you want to have an orgasm while he's banging you, you know, go ahead, touch yourself. You know, don't be afraid to okay. find things that you like doing while you're having sex. Experiment, yeah. you know? Yeah. Try yeah, both. Do the spoon position because yeah. he can do he can do it also during doggy, but it's a very awkward reach around for him during the doggy style thing. So do it when you're lying down on your sides, the spoon where he can he can rub you and penetrate you at the same time. And then, of course, like what Kat said, say you guys are in the missionary position. You know, you can go ahead and, you know, kind of play with yourself, too. And he gets to look at it and all that stuff. It's and it's fun because you know yeah. what you're doing when you touch your own clitoris, yeah. you know. All right, Korea. Okay. You Thank you, guys. Love, I love you guys. Listen, yeah, you have fun. Love, love that Calbee. Okay, love, love Love the Calbee. Okay. Love the kimchi's okay. Not a big fan. Love the chopped chin noodles. <laughs> love those. Fantastic. Good people over there. Okay. Thanks. I love you guys. Bye, right, April. Bye, April. April. Bye -bye. Take care. Oh, and send that dick photo to the wife, yeah, please, yeah. for the face. Thank you. Send the dick photo. Good job. Michelle, line four. I want to know who that guy time. is. I want to know who it is. Hey, hold on. Hoogie, can you go ahead and send her a Skype message and, and ask her who the guy is, please? I'm pretty sure. So we wait, Mo. I, of all these girls that you've them. dated that are freaky, come yeah. on now. You don't have any girls that touch themselves while you're doing them? 
You know, only one. My last girlfriend who was, because she was just a lot more sexually, like, a, like aggressive. You know, she, she was the one who wanted to do vibrators while having sex. Uh-huh. You know, th- that one. All the other ones are a little bit more... Conservative. I don't know. Yeah, I don't even know if it's conservative. But yeah, I mean, they're a little less... They're freaky, but they don't have many more moves. Like that? Oh, more embarrassed. Yeah. yeah. They're a little bit more embarrassed to kind of play with themselves in front of another so person. So you have girls I would, with I, slight body issues. Well, no, because I would never, like, masturbate in front of a girl. What? Like, I really? Grab my, You're so would, not would, freaky, Mo. Yeah, I wouldn't grab my dick and, like, just jack off <laughs> in front of you. No way. Like, I've never finished on a girl's face. Wow. Or boobs. Wow. I mean, I've, I've like, I've calmed on her stomach or maybe on, the, on her back when, you know, doing doggy style, like, you know, right above Woo. the ass. Right. But I've never, uh, like, came in a girl's fucking eyeball or mouth or anything. Like that. I mean, like, I, I've come in mouth, like, doing a blowjob, but I've never, like, it was, again, only with my last girlfriend, who was a lot more sexually, like, you know, aggressive, where, like, it was the first time in my life where, where while having sex, she's like, okay, where do you want to come? I'm like, what do you mean? I'm like, where do you want to come on me? While we're having sex, because it's going to, like, say you're going to come in five minutes. Where do you want to finish? I'm like, I, I can't even answer. I'm like, um, anywhere you want me to finish? <laughs> I'm embarrassed. <laughs> and she's like, okay, I want you to pull it out and then stick it in my mouth and then come in my mouth. I'm like, you mean from, like, your vagina, I'll take it out and put it in your mouth? Oh, and she says, yes. Man. I'm like, okay, sure. But I could never, like, say it. Like, if I wanted to say, I want to come on your face, like, not in your mouth, but I wanted to, like, just decorate your eyes and your nose. It I really never, surprises me that you're so that. prudish about this stuff, even though you talk about it like you're vulgar. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're yeah, such yeah, a little, yeah. like, no, shy guy. You're, like, torpe yeah, no, in the no, bedroom. Totally. It's almost like hypocrite, not hypocritical, but I'm, like, almost like a poser. Like, okay, I'll talk a huge game about, like, yeah, man, pull your dick out of the fucking, just slap that bitch in the face. But have you ever done it? No. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. Never tried it. Oh, Never would. Man. Never asked. Seriously. Never could I ask. think you should date a really freaky girl, and then she should bring the dark side out no, of you a little bit. No, but I, there is no dark side, because I dated the freaky girl. Well, you need she, a dark side, little, Mo. Maybe you need I mean, to get like, a little come freaky. On, like, who else, like, I would never in my right mind ever own a vibrator. I own the vibrator, because she... Wanted to use it while having sex. What like, kind? While we're having sex. Oh, big fucking uh, Lilo, big black, fucking matte wow. with chrome finish. Pearls big, and stuff. Huge, like, big fucking dick. Like, oh, fucking big ass. And big what the ass. hell did you do with it? Well, while we're having sex, she wants me to, like, so say, say I'll Put pull it up out. your butt? No, 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 no. I not, it never touches me. Pull it out and then like, kind of like go down on her and just kind of like. Fucking like uh, teeth, like like brushing teeth, you know. Just okay. put that fucker and just kind of shove it in there, <laughs> like you know, really, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So you just kind of go. And I would with never whatever, thought like, in my girls mind, I do, would huh? never thought that I would do that. I'm sorry, what? So you just kind of go along with what the girls want you to do. You just kind of, you know, yes. All right. Yes. You want, you want not, me to put I'm it in not... your butt? Uh, oh, okay. Sure. Why not? Have right. you ever? Have I'm, you ever I'm, said you... no? Like, have you ever been asked something really like outrageous and been like, oh, I don't, oh only I don't the only the blow job while I'm taking a shit. That was like, I was like, no, I'm sorry. We can't do that. That's hilarious, that's, sorry, though. That's, I don't understand. I don't understand that. That That's some sort of, like, control issue or something. But I don't understand see, the need to blow freaky. someone on the, on the toilet. That's as like, I don't get it. you can get, though. Like, you know, right? Like, that's yeah, the freakiest that's, thing. <laughs> well, I mean, aside from, like, say, having sex in public, which was another big thing. But you get what I mean? I, I, at least I had that one girl in my life that was, w- wants to have sex while I'm taking a shit. Wants to have sex with vibrators and all of these other machines and toys. Wants to have sex with the driver watching us in the car. You know, like, I've had, and every other girl I've dated never even came close to that that's, behavior. That's, that's kind of funny. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. But I've never came on her face. <laughs> but, but again, at the same time, I mean, come on. Having sex with the driver watching with the rear view, it's pretty... Have you ever yeah. said no apart from that shit? No, you've just been like, okay. You no, fine, the only I time guess. I've yeah, the only other time I've said no was the uh, the taking a shit and blowjob. That's See, I know I, someone I who who that. used to sit on her boyfriend's lap while he took a shit, but I don't understand that. I don't. See, okay, I've never been with anybody for that yeah. long, like seven years or anything. So, you know, I guess maybe the shitting thing hasn't come up in my relationships. But I I don't know. Sure. I'm kind private about my shitting time well we weren't together for seven years we're only together for like you know two years no no i know but you know what i mean like in terms of shit i'm not even comfortable anyway about shit so wanting to sit on someone's lap or give them a blowjob whilst they're taking it it's it's kind of weird like what the hell why would you want to you know be near the farting and the poop and and just 
gross and put it in your mouth. Yeah. I don't understand that. That's for me. It's like, but weird. she was kind of like a dude, you know. She was kind of, she was kind of. I like know, a dude but type of you're girl. taking a shit, okay, and you're gonna pee. Yeah, but shit humor's guy humor. Girls don't like shit humor. Girls that's what don't I'm like saying. That's what I'm stuff. saying. I don't understand right. and, why and this is a but, but weird. That, that's what I'm telling you. She was a very much. She was very much a, a, a like a, like you know. She was a dude. Yeah, but no, even not what so, she portrays. I'm kind of a it's dude. not what she portrays publicly. I mean, obviously, you know, because she's a celebrity. But, but you know, behind the celebrity camp, she was like a dude. dude no, you know? I know, but I'm kind of like a dude too. But I still don't like going down on people when they're taking a shit. That's yeah, but come on, you have to shit. also have to know like, that whoa. blowjobs while taking a dump is really not common. I mean, it is a very odd and unique request. It it really is. You know, it really is. Michelle, line four. <laughs> Sorry, you've been on hold for a fucking hour. Hi, Michelle. Hello? Hi, Michelle. Sorry, Michelle. Thank you for being so patient. What's up, baby? Yeah, I was really so patient. Yeah, oh. sorry. <laughs> really appreciate it. No, she's been on hold for fucking ever. Yeah. All right. What's up, baby? Yeah, I broke up with my boyfriend just the other day. Okay. Sorry to hear that. I probably think his cheating and then I took the iPhone I gave him and he's asking oh. it back. To me yesterday. Okay. okay. Why did you take it? Because he's using it for cheating. Good. Okay. I support that. Uh -huh. Sure. And then? What's your and question? Then, and then my question is how how would I know if, if he really doesn't want me anymore or he's just playing around cheating with some other girl? You want to know if your boyfriend is cheating on you because he's in love with the girl, or you want to know if, or is he just wanting to be a player? Is is that is that kind of what you're saying? Yeah. Does it matter? At yeah. That point? <laughs> if he's a like, player, why do you care? Right. Like no, no. Does it matter what reason he is? He's cheating. Like whether he's in love with her or if he's not, isn't it just cheating? And you should just steal his iPhone. Take a go. shit on his living room and go home? Uh, I don't know. I'm so confused, actually, because, like, I don't know if I can satisfy him. And whoa, him. whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. Rewind. Hey, listen, okay, listen, hang on. Listen, low self-esteem. Yes, yeah, super. It has nothing to do with in you. In the toilet self-esteem. It has nothing to do with you and your ability to satisfy. He's yeah. just being a dick. You sure? That's it. Like, when oh, we're, yes. we're doing it, he was just, like... Okay, take your clothes off and just put it in. We're not kissing. He's not touching your yeah, anything. Yeah, no, no. And Good just, Lord. No. Okay, honey, Your boyfriend's listen. just an asshole. Yeah, he's a dick. That's all. There's so many of them. Really? Yeah. Absolutely. Well, this is an easy diagnosis. Yeah. Absolutely. He's and just an you, asshole. Okay, why, why, why is it that you are concerned that you're not satisfying him? Oh, that's typical. You, you see oh, that because uh, he's a nurse. He's a nurse? Oh, that's nothing and then when I'm asking him to go down on me, he's just saying that he doesn't want to because at the hospital, he's seen many of them. Oh, please. This guy's wow. such a fucking what asshole. What a douchebag. I can't believe it. Just, honey, Michelle. listen to me. You need to, number one, is he the first guy you've ever had sex with? No. Okay. Well, did the other guys that you had sex with think you were terrible in bed? Yeah. They did. They don't think you're a good sex partner? Or they, uh, they're okay? I don't, th I don't know. I really don't know. So how, just, how, um, why did you just tell me right now that they thought you were terrible in bed? Is that what you think? No. No, she must have misunderstood the question. Oh, it's, okay. It's she, she answered so fast. Um, sorry, go ahead. Continue, Kat. Okay, so, you know, this guy, you know for a fact that he's cheating on you. Yeah, before uh, he... I read all his messages, like flirting with some other girl. Okay. So number one, the question is, do you want to be with a cheater? No. Number two, do you want to be with a guy who has sex with you and doesn't kiss you and doesn't do anything and tells you he doesn't want to go down on your vagina because he's seen a lot of vaginas at work? <laughs> no. So what's your question, honey? Sure, question is, she, she, her question is this, uh, Kat, is does my boyfriend not love me or... Or, or does he love me, but he's not satisfied with me? That's why he's...
It doesn't yeah. matter. Exactly. It doesn't it, matter, it's, honey. It's it doesn't none of those matter. Things. It's nothing to do with you. This guy right. is a douchebag. He shouldn't be sleeping with you if he's sleeping with other people, first and foremost. The fact that he's cheated already makes him a douchebag. Dump him. Leave his ass. Yeah, yeah, It'll yeah, hurt his ego because you. you know what? He thinks that he has you wrapped around his little finger, and it kind of sounds like he does, baby girl. You need to get yourself a backbone and some self-confidence and believe that you deserve far better than this guy cheating on you and making you feel insecure about yourself. That's a terrible way for him to make you feel and you don't need and, to be with a guy like the, that. The message I like to give girls here, and, and it's just not, not just Michelle, but so many uh, ask me this on Twitter, ask me this on Ask FM, ask me here on the podcast. If your boyfriend is cheating on you, it does not mean you're not satisfying him. That is wrong. Your boyfriend is cheating on you because he's one of those guys that cheats on women, uh -huh. that needs variety, uh -huh. that he's in fact he's in fact satisfied with you. That's why you're around. He just wants more pussy yes. from other people. He's just so it has selfish. nothing to do with your pussy. It's, it has something to do with his dick and his dick's need for great amounts of pussy. Yeah, because so if he, nothing to do with you. If he wasn't satisfied with you, he wouldn't keep fucking you. Right, you okay. wouldn't be around. But you yeah. know what? Uh, to him, like. Okay, carry like, on. Like when we go out and then I'll, I'll ask him, hey, you want to go grab some drinks? Because uh, I think if we got drunk or something, we'll have, we'll have a good sex like that. But then when we got home, he'll say, okay, we'll, we'll have sex tomorrow morning when we woke up. And then when we woke up, I'll just look at him. And then he already knows it, that... I want, and then he'll just, okay, take your clothes off, okay. And then he was just lying. So that's yeah, yeah. really terrible. Michelle, why do you want yeah, to be with this guy? Michelle, this is not a good relationship. Yeah, just why do you want to be with Just break up with this him? guy, please. Please, just make life easier for everybody. Why do you want okay? to be with him so bad? Why are you holding on to this guy so hard? No, I don't think she is. I think well, she's just she kind of is. Like, low self, no, low self esteem, whatever. You know, it, it's it's not. I don't think she's in love with this guy so much. I think she's just. No, I didn't love. say that. I said, why is she holding on to it so much? Why do you want to keep this guy in your life? Actually, because I think I'm into so much relationships already, and I I don't want my family oh, to the shame it. factor. Aha! See, I knew there was an underlying issue here, Mo. The Listen, shame yeah. factor. You know about the shame factor, Mo, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, you, the, you don't want like, to disappoint. It, uh, no, no, I no. The shame factor thing is... I broke up with this boyfriend, and is, then I had this okay. boyfriend, and then I broke Michelle, up again. And then Michelle, Michelle. Okay, listen to me. I know we live in the Philippines and people are very conservative, okay? But you need yeah. to get over this stuff. Being with someone does not make you sluttier, does not make you a whore, does not make you disappointment to your family. If you are with the wrong person, just because you don't want to add another number to your people that you slept with, I'm guessing that's what you're worried about, right? You don't want to yeah. be sleeping with a lot of guys in your life. Honey, yeah. you cannot think like that, okay? So what, you're just going to stay with an asshole for the rest of your life because you don't want to have another number on your belt, like another notch on your belt? You don't want to sleep with another guy? That's a terrible, terrible reason to stay with someone. OK, so you need to forget yeah. about this dumb shame thing and you need to get away from this asshole as fast as you possibly can. And you know what? If you don't want to sleep with a lot of guys, don't get to know guys, guys who really want to be with you for a solid relationship will stick it out whether or not you're having sex with them. So don't have sex with the next guy you want to be with. Talk to him, be his friend, get to know him, then sleep with him. Don't think that if you don't sleep with him that he won't be with you anymore. And don't think that if you sleep with someone else that you're a whore, okay? It's going to okay. be worse for you if you stay with this guy just because you don't want another number on your, you know, on your vagina list. Like, um, you know, okay. that's, that's a silly reason, honey. And you know that's a silly reason, right? Yeah. So, you know... Bad idea. Don't don't stay with this guy. Okay, just get rid of him already. He's he also. If are you guys using protection? Uh, I know Kat has to include that in at least a few of the phone calls. I know. I, I do. I always have to. <laughs> which, which, but it's an important point, honey. Listen to me. Against STDs if if and he HIV. is, you know, if he is having sex with other women and having sex with you unprotected, do you know what these other women have or who, who these other women are sleeping with apart from him? 
I really don't sorry. know. Yeah, sorry. This is Kat's. Uh, this is Kat's need to to do the right thing here. She wa- she Always. wants you to be healthy. She wants you to be safe. It's like me having to talk about sex tapes at least three times per episode. It, it's my thing. So uh, no, no. For me, it's got- really just if this guy, if you're gonna let this guy fuck you, and he's fucking a bunch of other girls, you're letting him fuck a bunch of other girls, and then put it back in your vagina, and you don't know where it's been. Okay, that's my point. Like, don't let this douchebag, you know, litter your vagina with God knows whoever's other stuff that he's got from other bitches and put it in you. Like, take care of yourself. Have some respect for yourself. Don't let this guy do that. That's disgusting. All right. You know? All right. Break up. Break up, break up. End it. End it. All All right. right. Have a good one. Okay. Thanks for Okay, take care. Good luck. I have a feeling we are really off on time here. Is this our, really our second commercial break? Yes, and we are less than an hour left. Okay, so the next one's going to have to be quicker, and then hopefully we can catch up. It's Good Times from Blow the Podcast, Season 2, brought to you by Globe. Kat Alano on the program yeah. tonight. Woo-hoo. Hot, talented. Opinionated. Wants to save the world. Wants to save the world. <laughs> Always. Take a Always. break. Back after this. Don't go away. Stay tuned. We'll return after this commercial break. We're always on the move. It's really important for us to get better and stronger for every competition that we get into. For all the different lifestyles that we have, some of us are graphic artists, filmmakers. We still find ways to get together. We put a lot of effort in practicing and rehearsing. Sometimes may mga bigla ang shows or auditions, so it's really important for us to get connected. I use my Globe group messaging to get a hold of everybody else. Malayo na rin ang narating namin, marami na rin kaming napuntahan. So it's really important to get connected. Everything for the stylish techie is at SM Supermalls this August. It's the SM 3-Day Sale on August 30, 31, and September 1 at SM City, Manila. SM 3-Day Sale. Up to 70% off on great finds. Shop and get a chance to win Suzuki motorcycles. SM 3-Day Sale. The SM 3-Day Sale on August 30, 31, and September 1 at SM City, Manila. See posters and print ads for details. Per DTI NCR permit number 8632, series of 2013. Take a little sunshine, grab a little rainbow, mix in a smile, stay for a while. Sabrina's Kitchen, what you waiting for? Sabrina's Kitchen, always room for one more. I was dared through boss man to uh, to eat a spoonful of not sugar but cinnamon. So you guys, um, I don't cower down to a challenge. I take them wholeheartedly and with spoonfuls. And I'm going to take a spoonful of cinnamon. I saw this okay. on a thousand ways to die, and the guy died. <laughs> it was so sad. <laughs> Wow. Okay, now say chubby bunny. <laughs> <laughs> I like the color of your lips. <laughs> <laughs> Are you here? Oh my god! <laughs> She's gonna blow! <laughs> <laughs> you look like the Wicked Witch. So, um, how was your experience? <laughs> I need a raise. <laughs> <laughs> What show? That show! It's a show! You know, that show! It's that show, buddy. Oh, that show! Oh. Yeah, that show's cool. 
We talk about, oh, 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 what does this look like? Vagina and like a double blow job. Vagina. Who is the asshole that decided to shave this shit off the entire planet? Sometimes we like to talk about it's like when you guys like high-fiving on a girl and then you're doing her in the butt and you're doing her in the mouth. High five, bro. Vagina. Vaginas. And you're jacking off really intensely, but like massaging your balls and shit. I'm not talking about a Chewbacca, man. I'm just talking about a nice little, you know. Vaginas. And don't miss that spot, like the cowper's gland. It's like in between your balls and your asshole. But not me, because I'm a guy. Yeah, that's a cool show. You should watch it. I, I think we're on on Tuesday. We're always on the move. It's really important for us to get better and stronger for every competition that we get into. For all the different lifestyles that we have, some of us are graphic artists, filmmakers. We still find ways to get together. We put a lot of effort in practicing and rehearsing. Minsan may mga bigla ang shows or auditions, so it's really important for us to get connected. I use my Globe group messaging to get a hold of everybody else. Malayo na rin ang narating namin, marami na rin kami napuntahan. So it's really important to get connected. Everything for the stylish techie is at SM Supermalls this August. It's the SM 3-Day Sale on August 30, 31, and September 1 at SM City Manila. SM 3-Day Sale. Up to 70% off on great finds. Shop and get a chance to win Suzuki motorcycles. SM 3-Day Sale. The SM 3-Day Sale on August 30, 31, and September 1 at SM City Manila. See posters of print ads for details. Per DTI NCR permit number 8632, series of 2013. What show? That show! It's a show! You know, that show! It's that show, buddy. Oh, that show! Oh. Yeah, that show's cool. We talk about. Oh, 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 oh what does this look like? Vagina and like a double blow job. Vagina. Who is the asshole that decided to shave this shit off the entire planet? Sometimes we like to talk about. It's like when you guys like high fiving on a girl and then you're doing her in the butt and you're doing her in the mouth. High five, bro. Vagina. Vaginas. And you're jacking off really intensely, but like massaging your balls and shit. I'm not talking about a Chewbacca, man. I'm just talking about a nice little, you know. Vaginas. And don't miss that spot, like the cowper's gland. It's like in between your balls and your asshole. But not me, because I'm a guy. Yeah, that's a cool show. You should watch it. I, I think we're on on Tuesday. Chubby Bunny, but what's um, chub what's wait? Have you, have you played Chubby Bunny before? No. You put a marshmallow in your mouth. You say Chubby Bunny, and you keep putting it in your mouth. And you okay. Keep saying Chubby Bunny. Okay. Whoever Let's keeps it. it the most in their mouth wins. But we're not gonna say Chubby Bunny. We're gonna say we're gonna have a conversation. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. So I'm gonna ask you, okay, gonna ba? Okay. And you're gonna be like, okay, na, okay, na. Okay. 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 Yeah. Go. 
Two at a time? Yeah, I'm going to do it at a time. Okay, can I buy? What? Okay, no, okay, no. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw it. What's that for the boat? Okay, no, okay, no. Okay, can I buy? Okay, no, it's good enough. Then the maid got jaundice. Jaundice is different from jaundice. Jaundice is buntis, like that. But she does not. <laughs> Tears up. Tears up. Anyway, jaundice does not know. <laughs> This is professional show. I will put the merienda here. <laughs> so John this. And I'm now happy to present to you Carlo Tayo. Look at me, the third of it. Snacks. And but toga nyan bayan. That was put it. That was 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 it. Ano? <coughs> Zora, pang ano ba to? Oil absorbing? Pwede pa itong pang nose line? <laughs> oh. Tita K, may caution. A when, caution! When caution! Mas na nag glamour te! When used for the first two weeks, more pimples will appear. Aburahin <laughs> <laughs> na, aburahin na siya. <laughs> <laughs> Join your host Carrots Nazareno on Live Love Lols every Thursday, 7.30 to 8.30, only here on The Factory. She hates me. It's Good Times with Mo, the podcast. Call the show tonight and get your love problem answered. Follow us on Twitter at GTWM Podcast and visit www.motwister.com. Back of the program, it is Good Times with Mo, the podcast season two, brought to you by Globe on the show tonight. One of our favorite, favorite people in the world, Catalano, is here. Hi, Cat. Hi. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having love me. You. Phone number four seven eight seven nine five four. Skype the Good Times Podcast. You can text us zero nine two seven two one four nineteen eighty one. Quick Globe announcement before we move on. Something new from Globe. It's called Globe Store on the Go. Now the Globe Store on the Go is a fully functioning mobile store that is deployed in far flung areas where customers need Globe services. So imagine wherever or whenever you find yourself out of town, there's no need to take a long trip back to the city because Globe will come to you. So Globe Store on the go. That's pretty good stuff from Globe. Thank you, Globe. Um, we have not a lot of time left considering the amount of calls we have. So let's try to get to them as soon as possible. Wrap up tonight's episode. It is a Thursday night here on the show. Um, let's go to... Oh, by the way, I, I didn't tell you guys this yet. And I know we're on air. But I don't think I'll be on the program tomorrow. Pico, Ange, or anyone. Uh -huh. I got to go to the Philippine Embassy. So All right. just saying. Not like the listeners care. I could have told you this off air, but <laughs> <laughs> just so you know. By the way, share my life. you know, I need to pick I'll up my laundry tomorrow at 5 o'clock. Can you just remember yeah. that for me? I need to pick yeah, up my totally. laundry tomorrow. <laughs> you know my tita baby? Yeah. You know, she's coming up. <laughs> complete people. You have no idea. All right. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm not sure. I, I mean, I, it's, it's one of those things that I have to do. I, you know, I have these cord cases and stuff, Kat. Oh, pain yeah. in the fucking What ass, is the, the deal with that? I mean, you know, you're okay, there. Well, I have here. A, How does that work? Yeah. I have a... Uh, Shit blowjob giving girlfriend who uh, who has like filed a, a restraining order. Okay, so I don't talk about her because you know the career and all of that. So, so it's like it's it's a restraining order of some sort, okay. which is weird because I always thought restraining orders were like just don't go in the vicinity of me and I'll harass me and I'm like don't worry I'm not even gonna go in your vicinity. I don't even fuck. I'm fourteen thousand miles and I would have no intention. I broke up with you. No need to you know be part of your life anymore, whatever. But it's now about me not being able to talk about our lives together. And I'm like, ah, okay, now I get it. Because if I ever, you know, bring up factual things that happen, there could be a consequence in terms of career and, and, and whatnot. So, so technically, you're I breaking the restraining order right now. 
No, because I haven't said anybody name. I've, I've had several shit <laughs> blowjob giving girlfriends. Right. Yeah. Yes. So that's what it is. But see, here's the thing. I'm so sick of it because I have to go to the embassy every single time to authenticate these paperwork, and then there's legal fees, and I'm like, for a restraining order. I mean, that's. I mean, a restraining order sucks, and I, obviously, I don't want it on my record. I mean, I, I mean, you, you know, I, I'm not a criminal of yeah, any. Yeah. Do you kind have a record? Like Are you, do you have a record? No, but I don't want like say you know, for example, okay, let's just say the restraining order goes through, and I give up, which I'm thinking of giving up arguing it because it's it's pointless to me. I live here, you know, she lives there, whatever. Um, but you know, if you Google my name, it's gonna be like restraining order, da, 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 you know, and I'm like, I don't want that shit because it's gonna look like you know I'm some sort of violent, you know, gun toting type of individual, right? Like guy. some sort of predator or something. I'm like, no, it's just I'm not allowed to talk about this person. Like talking, it's biographical. Know. If they see the These crying video, I don't think they're life. gonna think you're predator or anything. It's just... That's true. That crying video is <laughs> fucking tough. I'll tell you though, man, that crying video. I'll, I'll, I'll be honest, man, that was an awful, awful night for me. Really? Uh, no, I could tell. I mean, I'm not questioning how genuine your feelings about it were. It's kind of a tough video, man. Oh, no, 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 no. I get, no, no, I, I know that. And, and listen, Ken, you were with me, uh, you know, through those days. Uh -huh. You know that, I mean, uh, you know what's going on. I'm like, I'm not calling you out or anything. I'm just yeah. saying, like, if you think I look like a weirdo on it, <laughs> it was a tough night. <laughs> <laughs> kind of hard. Didn't get your makeup on that yeah. night either. It was kind just of saying. It was a tough your night. Nose. Yeah. One of those things. <laughs> Didn't have yeah. any tissue. Hanging around. Uh, you know, Could have used my shirt. Wiping the you know? snot on your... <laughs> right. Could have used my shirt. But it's funny because I've, I've been, you know, people who don't believe me that it happened and all that, like, you're just acting. I'm like, I wish I could act like well. If I was acting that well, I wouldn't be on the fucking radio. I'd be making millions in drama. On the TV. Yeah. No, that, that kulangot and all that fire, that's, that's about as genuine as they generally get. We should do that like, you know, uh, like a podcast teleseria. We just read dramatic lines to each other. Like, <laughs> Bucket! <laughs> Bakit mo ako sinaktan? Like, shit That's like right. that. People will love it. Like, tune in for the next episode uh, of Sana Hanggang May Langit. You know, gonna... That's right. It's always so crazy. <laughs> Mahal. Alam mo ba? Hindi na kailangan. Pwede ng gawin natin. You know, just all this <laughs> very dramatic. Like like, which which in real life never, never happens, right? Hindi Wait, ko na kaya. Back have you ever been in a relationship? Have you ever been in a relationship, Kat? Like this. Alam mo, Kat, nakita kita kahapon sa bandang mall. Although, you know, I've had guys in the guy. province who have tried to date me who have that kind of mentality, you know? No, and they have that, please. they do, did they do. Him? Did you punch them oh, in the well, heart? You know, obviously, busted na sila kagad kasi yung ligo-ligo thing pa there, you know? But, yeah, it's like, see, you know, it still happens. Where they, and harana, that kind of stuff. Like, guys, you know, I walk <laughs> down the street sometimes and guys will start singing at me out of the blue. This happens to me more often than, than anything else. While I'm walking but, down the street, dudes start singing shit to me. I always yeah, love songs, Kat, always this stuff. And I'm yeah. like, what is, what did, did but you have to remember like those days where you lived in Batangas yes. and you were so, I mean you're still incredibly attractive but I mean you're talking about like a province girl with that look that face that like that that swag you know what I'm sorry for the word I, I never use swag but I don't know why it just came out but you get what I mean like <laughs> swag. you're in Batangas this is just this girl like this incredibly attractive hot cool girls walking down so of course I mean people are gonna lose no no mind. the Harana thing is like everywhere just generally speaking. I thought it was normal for Excuse everyone, but then when I asked, you know, do people sing around you? They're like, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, just yeah, me, yeah, me yeah. then. I'm a walking musical. Awesome. When are it's you going to do Forbidden Questions? You want to give it a go next week? <sighs> Come on, love. It's going to be a lot of fun. I want to know if Willie Revilla be hitting on you stories. Oh, oh man. that shit, man. You know what? Come on. I love I, Willie, but I would have... You know I love Willie. You know I love, I love Willie. and me have Listen, already I, had I, a run-in with each other, and we haven't know, even I, met I, yet. Like, I, I, you, it you know is still Willie. on the Google, okay? The yeah, same, I, you, know you don't I love, want the restraining order articles on the Google. Like, those Listen, articles about your forbidden questions, still on the Google. Listen, Listen. I, I love Willie Ravini, man. I just, I know that there, I know that he was hitting on you, man. I know it, because, you know, I, I, I and you know what? To... I didn't even get the worst of it. That's the bad shit. But see, that's what we need to know, man. We need next week, man. Forbidden questions. <laughs> Catalano, that's what it's going to be. I did not say yes to this. You've been trying to rope me into this for a long, long Cat, time, okay? Come on, man. Let's oh, just do man. it. You it's know, it's I'm just open an interview. About shit, Listen, but for, yeah, the but forbidden the questions end, is dangerous, and you know that for a fact. In the end, all it is is biographical information. I'm just, I am just interviewing you and things that you've done in your oh, life. What's you know deal? how much trouble you could get me into, and you know it, too. You know all the trouble. I've told you everything. It's not like you don't know the real stories, okay? You know the nitty-gritty. 
Yeah, but you know all the shit about me too. And, and I know, but we're not talking here. about here. How about this? Oh, okay, fine. How about this? If you want to forbidden questions me, I get to forbidden questions you. That's what I was going to say. Yeah, fine. Let's do that. Let's oh, do that. shit. Now I'm that. scared. Yeah, fuck, now fuck the you, challenge bitch. is That's on. Like, no, we're going to put the challenge God on damn my it. Head. All right. And by the way, All because right. I know so much about you, I know when you're lying. Oh, fuck. Yeah. That's damn. right. Suck it. Yeah. Well, it's Suck. the same thing goes for you, okay? So it's yeah, not yeah, like, no, no, you know. Completely. Yeah, no, I agree. The other way but around. See, I don't care. I'm fine. I fuck. I'll, I'll tell I know, shit. I'll I say anything. I'll it's just fuck. that the Willy Revealing May stuff, you know, as much as I'd like to talk about it, it's just the backlash from it's going to be a bitch. You, you know? never know. You never like, know. Look at Ellen Adarna you know. did the Bone Revealing thing. There's nothing yet. No backlash yet. I just don't want any fucking lawsuits or bull crap coming my way about shit. You hey, know what I'm saying? See, here's the thing is I'm only, only talking. See, I don't understand. We need a lawyer on the show one night, and I need to talk about everything. Like, I want to talk about sex tapes. Like, who gets in trouble for those things? I mean, like, mm -hmm. I want to talk about, like, like, if you, for example, I ask a question about what happened in your life, mm -hmm. which you've experienced, mm -hmm. and that means someone might not be Happy thrilled about, about your you answer. Say. Yeah. Are you still going to get in trouble? That's the thing, though. You do. You get. You can get sued for libel, for defamation of character. I mean, you know. So if I say, like, did Willie really, really may hit on you, man? And you go, yes. And he's pissed off about that? Yeah, he could sue me. He, he could sue? That's yeah, because he gay, could say dude. that I'm lying. You know what? They, somebody actually said this to me today. It's not about what the truth is. It's about what you can prove on paper in court. No, it's not really what the truth is. It's how they feel about it. Exactly. Well, that's the thing. And, you know, whatever they say in court, they have a bigger lawyer than I do. They win. But no one's going to do that. I mean, you think Willie's going to fucking sue you for No, no, I mean, not that. Not. You know what I'm saying? Right. I mean, it's always going to happen that, that, you know, people are going to say and that shit. And guys don't but... sue girls. That's also one thing because that's such a puss move. Like, if a guy sued a girl for libel, you're a pussy. Yeah, seriously. Oh, you, you, girl, you said the girl said something about me. But like, me. I mean, you. you know what? If you want to ask the question, did Willie Revelli may hit on me? Yes, he did. He hit on a yeah, bunch no, no, of no, no, women. No, 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 you know, no, that's no, see, that's the that's thing. That's the like, truth. We, but when we do forbidden questions, it's the follow up questions oh, that are going to be beautiful. I don't know if we can do it next week. Thing, I need more prep time. Okay, I need right, more prep enough. time. Hey, listen, yeah, listen, I'm not going to bully you, Damn. Bianca. Last night, Bianca thought we were bullying. I don't I'm not going to bully you. You don't bully me, okay? God damn it! I hate you. I hate you. We're not right, friends anymore. Listen, I, I gave you the option to do whatever you want to do. I'm just saying. I, I, I would like you to say yes to a, for a run for forbidding questions next week or maybe the week after, whatever. But, you know, take your time. To, you know, let right, it marinate right, and we'll see. Right, let uh, let's go to Brian. It. Brian, line five. What's up, Brian? Hey. Hey, man. You're in Bacolod. Hey, What's guys. going on? Hi. Oh. Hi. So um, this is my question. My okay. two ex foods are now hitting on my cousin who has a boyfriend. So one of my ex food Whoa! Is... What? Wait what? a minute. The, wait, whoa, your cousin whoa, is a girl? Whoa. A boy. A girl. Yeah. A boy. How is this possible? Wait, wait. Um, your fubu is a boy or a girl? A boy. Oh, so, so you're, you're gay. You're a gay guy. Yeah. Oh, okay. You, it Sorry. would be nice you don't, you don't to tell us that gay. in the beginning, we, we Brian, couldn't assume just you're so gay. we know what the fuck, how this is possible. You know, like our mathematics was all wrong. I was yeah. like, what, what the hell is this? I was like, what the hell okay, so you're, <laughs> so you're a gay guy. Your fubu is now hitting on your cousin. Who's a, yeah, who's a girl? Who has a boyfriend? Yeah. Okay. Both no, two of your wait, two fubus, two gay fubus yeah. are hitting on your cousin. She hot? Yep. Is she mm -hmm. hot? Is she good looking? Yeah, she's, yeah, she's maybe good I looking. Her, maybe okay. I need to send so, her a dick photo. So wait, what's your question? Right. What's what's the thing? Um, so um, one of her ex, uh, one of my ex fubu is her ex boyfriend. So we, uh, her ex boyfriend and I go way back before. Um, we were we were classmates. Actually, both of my fubus were my classmates way back in high school. Okay. So then, both of them are asking for her to break up with their current boyfriend. Both of them. So okay. they could, so they could um, hit on her. Or, sure. Um, the catch is they don't know that both of them are hitting on her right now. So we want, sh so we want to teach them a lesson. Oh, so this is a Mo question because Mo likes revenge. So this is yours, Mo. What's what's the deal yeah, with not, the, the but, two but, gays? But this is not a this is not a revenge worthy problem. Like, the, I, I'm still confused. Your two fubus are telling this girl to break up with their boy, her boyfriend, so they can, let's just say, you use the word court her, date her. Yeah. And you want the both of them to get in trouble because they both like the same girl. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't get that. Um, not really. Um, my cousin and I came up with that. I know because I told her about it. 
Oh, so we want to teach them a lesson. About, For what? Um, Why do you want to teach um, them a lesson? Yeah, it's for them to back off or something. Why doesn't she just, just tell, tell them, them to, to back the fuck <laughs> off? I, mean, I have she's a boyfriend. It seems like she's enjoying this. Yeah. How about this? Okay, just go. How about this? You have dinner or go out to eat with your cousin. Yes. Have yeah. her invite both of these guys to the uh, to the place. Right. They thinking thinking that they're only going to be there alone. And then when you, all of you sit down together, please have you have her. Ye- well, how do I say this in English? You explain how you've butt fucked both of them to her. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, does your cousin know that? Does your cousin know that you hooked up with these guys? Yeah, yeah, I told her. And and yeah. these guys are bi, I'm assuming. They're both bi. Oh, I, I don't know. Maybe they're Does your cousin know does your cousin know that these guys suck dick too? Yeah. Okay, well then well, the, the, wait, does understand. your cousin <laughs> yeah, does your cousin here. know that Wait, do they know that your cousin knows that they suck dick too? No. No, they don't. Okay, then that's that's your revenge. You go to dinner, you sit down, all everybody's there, like a nice little fucking round table. You, your cousin, and the two guys that you used to bang. And and then just say, hey, listen, you know, talk about like who she's gonna choose between the both of them. Just say, hey, listen, I, I just found out both of you are courting me and I have a boyfriend. You know that both of you are pressuring me to break up. But before I choose who I want, uh, kind of, kind of like direct the the conversation into how you fucked both of them mm. to get them okay. kind of embarrassed. All right, and then, <laughs> you know that, that's a little fun, I guess. But that's it. After that, she should just tell them to fuck off because she's got uh, a boyfriend. Okay. All right, Brian. Okay. Enjoy. Enjoy. Thanks. Have fun. No, no, no. Did you butt fuck? Did you buck, butt fuck them or did they butt fuck you? Um, ver- uh, both ways. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> What's going on with this stuff? I don't understand. There are more and more guys doing both now. It's like just because you have a choice, you will. Try to get a blow job while taking a shit, Brian. That's the new move. <laughs> that's my. That's your yeah. assignment, okay, for me. All right, Brian. Okay. All right. All right. Awesome. Godspeed. Brian. Awesome. Call Godspeed. us back when you do that, okay? Yeah. Oh sure. All right. Thanks, <laughs> Thank Brian. Uh, have a great win. Joey on line six. Hi, that's Joey. Awesome though. We should encourage people to get blowjobs while having a shit. <laughs> And see how many of them do it. Like, and see how many problems arise from it. I got a rash in my mouth because I gave my boyfriend a blowjob while he was taking a shit. Uh, <laughs> I got I, ass I know mouth. Enough, <laughs> I'm pretty sure I know another guy who's getting a blowjob while taking a shit right now. Um, let's go to Joey. Joey, line six. Uh, no, Joey. That's pretty oh, gross, man. Joey. Did you just make reference to who I think you made reference to? <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> At least I got blown first. <laughs> no, I didn't. Um... Let's try. Should we go for Cindy? I got blown first. Joey six. Joey six. Okay. Joey, line six. Hi, Joey. Hi. Hi. What's up, buddy? Hi, Joey. How are you? Hello. I'm good. How can we help you? Yeah. Um. Well, can you be my career gurus for tonight? (laughs) Sure. We can try. Yeah. Um. You know, I I have this office mate who is really pasaway. Uh. Very tamad and. You know, she has this um, habit of not reporting to work for weeks and then uh, she would suddenly appear and then tell, you know, tell the administrative officers that she was sick and, and all that. And then my boss has this presentation and she's in charge to do the presentation. And now, she, again, she's not reporting to the office. We would call her, we would text her, and she would not respond. So, you know, um happened is that her job is going to go to me. I would stay in the office late. So... I want to know, uh, what do you think? How, how do I tell my boss, you know, to, to finally fire her and uh, look for another look for another um, employee? I mean, you know, I don't want to appear now. to be that. So, yeah. Well, you uh, can't. I don't think you can suggest firing somebody. I, I think that, that okay. might even get you in trouble. Yeah. So you so have to hard. remove <laughs> that from your vocabulary. Well, it's not even yeah. that. It's, it's a show of, like, who, who empowered you? Like, people might even take it as a threat, like a boss. Like, hey, I've earned the right to fire people. You have not. So yeah. just remove it from your vocabulary. Um, yeah, the thing is, I, I had the unit, and she's actually a consultant, and she has to report to me. So, you know, um, the output of the, the entire unit is actually affected because of her, you know, her, her habits. And Well, that's exactly yeah. what you tell your boss. Yeah. Whatever you said in that line right now that you just told us, okay, hey, listen, I'm the head of the unit. Whatever her yeah. 
her lack of productivity affects not only the department, but it affects my ability yeah. to do my job as well as the way yeah. I look in terms of how I handle yeah, this department. It. So I yeah, need, yeah. Uh, I would like to recommend that we either move her to another department or find a replacement because, yeah. I mean, in the end, we just want to be, I want to be successful in my career and my career depends on the yeah. success of this department. So yeah, it, it, I, yeah, I think yeah. that's just the way to do it. Yes, yeah, and another thing, you know, despite her being, you know, as I said, the mad Basawai na employee, she she seems to get this all these promotions and and you know half uh, and the hefty uh, project fees and you know while other employees like me who, who work our butts off and we we don't get these projects. I don't know why. Maybe maybe because she's a female. Does that give her an edge? I don't know. Is she banging your boss? And, and, and our boss is a, is a male straight uh, guy. Is he is he banging her? Is she flirting with him? Are they, they yeah, banging each fucking? other? Well, I, no, no, I, I, don't, I don't think so. I don't know. Okay. Well, I, I don't know. Maybe, you know, sometimes maybe, you know, um, male bosses just have this favoritism for, females? for female employees. Well, you know what? The, the it's reason, either yes or no. The reason Sorry, it's either I yes or no. It's about... either yes, they do, or no, they really actually don't. You know, you're, it's one or the other. Sorry, Kat, go ahead. Yeah, I no, the reason I ask about, you know, whether or not your boss is banging her is because if you tattletale on her and she is banging the boss and he finds, you know, he tells her, you're kind of screwed because yeah. that's going to make you get in trouble. But if he's not banging her and you think that it's just favoritism, yeah, then maybe you should, you know, just mention it. Just say, you know, as team leader, I feel that her performance hasn't been... Uh, up to yeah. par, that uh, the rest of the team's efforts are being wasted because she's not pulling her weight, and then let yeah. them deal with the fact uh, w- whether or not they keep her or not. You know. Yeah, and so remember, you want you, you, you have yeah, to. Yeah. Sorry, uh, what's your name again? Ryan. Joey. You Ryan. have to um, remember the terms you use. Sometimes people forget that even one word can change the whole dynamic of the conversation. Do not use words like, she's pasaway, she's tamad. You know, yeah, don't yeah. look like yeah. you're nagging and yeah, that you're yeah, bitter. Yeah. You yeah, just have yeah. to say, hey, listen, we need a bottom line and to hit that bottom line or we need results and to hit these results, we need the best team possible. Yeah. And I think yeah. she's not at the skill set level. You know, you have to sound professional. Yeah. When you start using words like yeah, pasaway yeah. and all these things, yeah, man, you're going to yeah, look like yeah. an amateur yeah. and you're not going to be yeah, effective. Yeah. Definitely. So, I agree with Mo. To keep it professional. Talk about how it affects the company and not you. Otherwise, it just seems like you don't like her and you're trying to get her fired. And that's not cool. Right. Yeah. yeah and so it would be better to be, you know, straight, straight to the point with the boss. Yeah. Totally. But but the terminology is key, though. I mean, yeah, you're going to be straight to the point, but don't look like it's high school. You know, yeah, like, yeah. teacher. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. You yeah, yeah. yeah. know, yeah. 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 like, that could all be true. Yeah, yeah. That could all be true, but it's not going to be effective. You're and it's critiquing. not going to help you. It's not going to be effective. Yeah, your critique's not going to be effective. Okay? Yeah. So, yeah, and, yeah and I think you're going to be okay. Can I ask another question? Yes, please, go. Yeah, how do you know... You know, in a professional way, yeah, as you said, how do I ask for, say, a raise? And I just had a raise this year. I don't know why. How? Oh, you want another raise? Yeah. I don't know I about that. It. <laughs> uh, I think you have to wait. I mean, I don't know. Gosh, I don't work in the corporate kind of, uh, you know, environment. So I don't know what the typical well, actually, yeah, time is between raises. Year, yeah. Hello. Yeah, I got promoted yeah. this year, and then uh, my boss talked to me, and then uh, he would tell me, uh, you know, I'd, I'd handle another task, and then um, I would be given a raise. So I got a raise, but that was because of my promotion. And then, uh, but and uh, for the extra work that I do, I, I didn't get any raise, and it has been uh, three, four months, three to four months that I've been doing that extra job, and yet I've yet to to get that raise, you know, and. I, you know what? I'll be honest. I'll be honest with you, uh, Joey. I, I'd say in another yeah. year, maybe you can flirt with the idea, but not right now. Yeah. Four months, you can't if ask you just got a raise. I, if I was your boss, I'd punch you in the fucking face, man. <laughs> Wait, did you get a raise or did you get a bonus? Because if you're doing more work because you got a promotion, means that you probably are going to be doing more work, but you're being paid more money, right? Or did you just get yeah. a bonus? I think you got a raise because of the promotion. Yeah, but he's saying that oh, he's been doing yeah. a lot of extra work, but he's not getting paid the raise. Did Perhaps you get a salary? The, the, sorry, did you yeah. get a salary bump, Joey? I'm sorry. You have a higher salary now. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Give it a year, what, man. What, what, 
what if I get extra pay for, you know, for the extra output that I get, not exactly a fixed amount, but, you know, say, um, uh, what do you call this, 5000 for every project that I, you know, I, I, I get to close, I get to, um, yeah, I, I get to book. How about that? No, I, again, I don't think you, I think it's way too early to negotiate any further bump in salary. Yeah. To, to, to be honest, mm-hmm. I, I mean, I you don't want to give that impression. You know, you I would like to see a guy just work hard because he wants to get the job done and he wants to you know do things. Then I'll give him the raise. Not get a lot of work done and go. Hey, listen, I'm not being compensated properly for yeah, the. Yeah, I'm doing a lot more than you're paying me yeah. for. Do it. Yeah. All yes, right. Yeah. I All know. Right. Yeah. Thanks for the call. Have a good one, man. Right, thank Thanks, you. Joey. Bye, Joey. Thank good you. luck. Bye-bye. Bye. Uh, let's see if we can squeeze. We'll squeeze. try to squeeze a couple more in. Cindy, this was a good one. Cindy, 16 years old in Alabang. You're on line five. Hi, Cindy. Welcome to the show. Hi, Cindy. Hi. <laughs> okay, oh, so Cindy. here's my question. What, what Wait, happened, Hey, What's going on? <laughs> so my, um, my mom caught me masturbating. Ooh. <laughs> and, I, love- I don't know. I don't know if she feels the same. Like She, she acts the same, though, but... I feel kind of awkward around, like, everyone in the house. Like, I don't know if everyone knows or... I, I don't I apologize to my mom. Like, <laughs> she cried. Like, I'm worried, but... Well, well, here's the thing, though, and I always ask this about people who catch other people in compromising sexual positions is what were you... What did you look like? What did it look like to her when she walked in? Were you like legs in the air, fucking cucumber in your pussy? Were you on Skype? I mean, it, it, so much of it is what position you were in. Like, again, I, if I, I walked in on my, say if I say I had a homosexual brother, if I walked in on him like giving a hand job to his boyfriend, no problem. If I walked in on him 69ing and fucking, then I'm like, oh, fuck. Oh. You know, it's just so much is really in the comp, how, what kind of position were you in when she walked in? So she caught you I masturbating. Think, uh, um, she didn't call me like doing it. Like she just saw me with my uh, shorts, um, not really on, in the right place. <laughs> like so they were my, all on uh, your. My, so, sorry, um, sorry. My, okay, sorry. Sorry, go, go ahead. Oh. Uh, shit. You know what? You know what's very. You know what's awful about this conversation, Kat? Is she's sixteen, and we're trying to have her recreate what it looked like. I know, right? Like, it like, sounds okay. almost illegal. Nobody else oh. imagined what this was like. This is for you know yeah, uh, right. scientific purposes only. Yeah. Research. <laughs> you know, bunch of forty-five-year-old men right now pulling out the <laughs> like, motion. Hey, and stuff. yeah, yeah. sixteen-year-old. Awesome. Yeah, Tell me okay. about what it was like. Okay, so so <laughs> let's try to keep it. As- <laughs> As, as I, I know this is the podcast, and this is a very graphic podcast, uh, but let's try to keep this one clean because you're 16. Yeah, like, were you so, under a blanket? Were you touching yourself? Was it, you know, were you in a compromising position thinking about some dude were, taking were you from behind? What, what was going spread on? Spread open. I mean, like, well, what are we looking at? Um, she didn't really uh, saw me, like, with my legs open or anything. Like, my shorts were, like, two of my legs were in one hole and one dress, and she was like... Why is your shorts like that? And I was like, I didn't, I didn't know what to say, so I panicked, like, because uh, I'm gonna go to the bathroom already. Like, I was, I was stalling her. Then oh she, yeah. She just got a lot curious, and then, yeah, I just told her like I was masturbating to porn, but actually I was, I was on Skype with my friend. Oof. <laughs> oh fuck. Did she see oh, your friend? Oh man, that's so awesome. No, that is, because um, um, I was just using an iPhone, so. Yeah. Awesome. That's, this that's is awesome. Badass. You are that's a little badass. bad freak Wait, time out, time out. Last, la- last question. Your, your friend on Skype, how old is that guy? Please. Um, 25. Oh, oh I knew it. I Arrested. Knew it. Bam. Oh, Jail oh, put time. On, put on hold. Put Cradle on hold. snatching. Put on hold. Dang. I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. Like, <laughs> what did you fucking knew? That it's, it's some old man on the right? other side. Right? Oh, the man. Yeah. So bad. Like, touch yeah. yourself. Come on, baby. Touch Fuck yourself. Yeah. I want to hear you do it. What are you doing? That's why I was like, last question. Because I know this is the home run here. Take it. Take out your. Take out how? your. Take, take your pussy out of your shorts. I didn't even want to know who <laughs> that guy was. I, I just wonder how old was that guy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and I you bet know you what, he's though? He's older than 25. I bet you that Maybe. fucker's lying. Maybe. 
uh, well, you know, what you can, what can you do? You, are you, you want to be toolful and run over there and be like, hey, you know, child molester, right. let's do this? Or do we want to focus on the fact that mommy caught her masturbating and shouldn't have asked no, any questions because okay, she knew what was going on, on, okay? okay I want, well, the mommy thing we can finish in two minutes because that's not yeah. a big deal. I mean, yeah. whatever, you got caught. Every, everybody gets caught masturbating, it sucks, whatever. Yeah. You know, you should have been more totally careful. Cool. Lock your door. My dad All found my vibrator. Fucking... It was awesome. <laughs> that's awesome. All right. And your dad is, your dad is the, uh, Conservative is the Filipino, Filipino one. Oh man, yes. <laughs> and you know what? Right, it, was, anyway. it was really bad because it was a day that I was like auditioning to be a beauty queen. And he had to oh, go back because I was wearing trousers, right? So, like, little baby girl is going to go be a beauty queen audition and everything. I was wearing trousers. How old were you when, when you got your movie? Oh, right. And then uh, he had to go still, home and get me a skirt, song. and he found it in my drawer. Big pink thing that's with pearls awesome. and buttons. Oh, at least you didn't have the one I have, the big black one with the <laughs> fucking matte finish. All right, uh, chrome <laughs> chrome interior, matte finish on black, solid. <laughs> fucking six different speeds. Chrome interior. Yeah, I had the yeah. speed thing. Plus, it, had the, it has the clit stimulator on top of the big shaft. Yeah. Oh, nice, nice. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. It's got a clit stimulator the size of a normal dick on top Damn, of super dick. that's... That's freaky. It looks like a chainsaw. Do you still have it? <laughs> I think I sold it to like a fan or something. Nice, nice, uh, awesome. Yeah. Did you tell him? Who's I remember it was? I was asking. I was asking Hayden, and I think it was Zorin at the time. They were in my house. I'm like, hey guys, this is my girlfriend's uh, big ass fucking vibrator. What do I do with it? They're like, I'm gonna sell it. Like, Mo, that's really wrong. Do that. <laughs> Anybody want a second hand dildo? Hate. Hayden giving me advice about what's the right thing to do <laughs> regarding these things. Um, oh, God. Okay, back to this girl. Uh, what's her name yet? Uh, Cindy. Cindy, 16 years old. Okay. If your mom caught you masturbating with the adult male on the other side, if you think she's pissed now, do you know what kind of fucking destroyed she would feel, Cindy? My point being this. Never, ever Skype sex with adult men please you are way too young for this yeah Listen, do you even know who here, this guy is yeah Ooh, i'm not I here know, to pop your balloon or anything like that but i'm telling you this right now listen if you want to have teenage sex with your teenage boyfriend cool listen it's not it's maybe it's not right for us to pr promote this but i'm fine with that shit yeah you want to yeah. do that Come listen when love, we were teens we were doing yeah. it oh fuck yeah man fuck yeah i was younger than you but you know if you want to have sex with your teenage boyfriend godspeed God bless you. Be safe. At least you're Tell both illegal. Condoms. Not that I'm saying Whatever. that it's good. Right. I'm just saying it's better than, when you're you know. Skype, dude, there is no way. I don't give a fuck who this guy is. I don't care how nice he is, what, you know, how established. There is no acceptable reason for you to be touching yourself when there's a 25-year-old man or maybe even older on the other side of that. Is he your boyfriend? No, he's just my friend. And how did you meet He shouldn't guy? even be your friend. Um, um, you were friends, common friends, yeah. So wait, how That's long have you known this guy? And why are you having Skype sex with him? Uh, because, like, um, we already had, uh, sex. So, so yeah. um, it's kind of like for for booth, something like that. You know that that's illegal, you, right? You yeah, do know it's illegal. it's illegal. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I was looking up the uh, age of consent the other day in the Philippines. I think there is like, none? No, I think it's like fucking... I think it I think was it's 16, 12. 16, to be honest. Yeah, I think in the UK, like, it's 16. I think it was like 12 at one point, and then it became 16. I mean, it's a crazy young age. So I don't know how... I'm not 100% sure. Again, I'm not a lawyer, so I don't know what the, the, the illegal part is. We do need a lawyer, though. Is, I think you're right. But, we need to get a lawyer on the show. Well, we need a go-to lawyer for one phone call. Like, I don't want a lawyer on the show the entire time. No, no. I mean, I, like, like not like yeah. Dr. Phil on Oprah, but, you know, like... <laughs> well, I got a new podcast coming out where, where, where I can ask these questions, and it, it'll be a quicker, you know, guess. All right, guessing. all right. Okay, anyway, back to the thing. Still, though, let's just say it's legal for you to have sex with a 25-year-old and above. <laughs> Cindy, Cindy, please. Your mom, your mom's going to be crushed. I'm crushed. Cat's crushed. Yeah. Give it a couple of years and then start banging these old guys. In the meantime... <laughs> yeah, wait till you're like 20, you know, at least. Yeah, man. Can't you find you know, a fucking fubu yeah. in your classroom? How come you're sleeping with an older guy anyway? Don't you like any of the guys in your class? Cindy. Mom Did we lose her? What? Mom oh, there she is. Why are you banging this guy? Why, why not just another guy in your class? Oh, my God. Um, to be you honest, like I'm like... They're immature. I don't know. I like I like older yeah. guys. But Where's your dad? Where's my your dad? Dad's here, like yeah, really? Here. Yeah. Right. Uh huh. 
He's All right, hey, Cindy, what's your question for us? Yeah, tonight? what do you Aside want from us your to mom, tell you? Yeah, what, your mom caught you masturbating. What do you want to know? I, I just want to apologize to her. Like, uh, honestly, though, like, I don't think I if, admit if you it. if you uh, apologize and you're going to hash up all this other shit that your mom doesn't really want to know at this point. OK, she's not ready for this. Like parents in general, number one, unless she's she knows you're having sex and she knows that you like like to get freaky and masturbate all the time. If this is the first time she's ever encountered the sexual side of you, it's crushing her on the inside because moms and dads do not want to know about their kids sex lives. OK, they don't want to. Well, what did your dad say about the vibrator? Sorry. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. How'd okay? you know he saw it? Because he left the drawer open. <laughs> the only thing he left open was the drawer, the bottom drawer that usually has no stuff in it except for that thing. You know, he left it open. Yeah, yeah, all right. So, Cindy, I definitely don't think you should bring it up with your mom. I, yeah, I think it's, don't. I think your mom, it's something your mom has to deal with that he, she has a daughter coming of age. And, 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 and let her be in the dark. Let her be in the dark that she doesn't really know if you're masturbating or not. But if she's upset, right. just let her deal with it. You know, like, it's forget diff- about. Again, it's different when she walks in and you have the vibrator in your pussy with your legs up in the air. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> totally you know, then you apologize <laughs> because you're like, mom. Lock your yeah. door. Lock yeah, your there's door. no other way to really sell that you weren't doing what yeah, you were doing. Yeah. But with this one, it was still kind of vague. You know, obviously she knows and you know and whatever, but it wasn't a compromising position. Yeah. What I don't want you yeah. to do from now on is stop banging these guys. You want a guy? Yeah. You want an older guy? Go 19. Yeah, seriously. Do I 25? What are you talking to a 25 year old about? Unless he's really I have immature. I 19 year old prince. Yeah. You have yeah, what? Go fuck him. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. She has a 19-year-old yeah. friend. Good, yeah, go bang good. that guy. Go, go FUBU yeah. with a 19-year-old. That's a little bit better. Uh, one, one last uh, thing, Cindy. Uh, What's the, who's the oldest guy you've slept with? How old was he? Um, 26. Uh, just the age, yeah. How old were you at the uh, time? Um, 15. Oh, shit. Ooh. shit. All right. Jailbait. I'm sorry. Ooh. Yeah, it's all right. Hey, what are you going to do, Cindy? <laughs> It's okay. Hey, listen, it's in the past. I want you to just kind of learn from it. Try to try to hear our sadness that it's going sad on. Face. Yeah, I mean, I, mean, I yeah. got a sad face. I got a sad, uh, sad emoticon. Same with Cop here. <laughs> Puppy dog face. Yeah, don't do yeah. it again, please. Okay? Come I on. won't. All right. Yeah, All right, I won't. Thank All you. Right. All right, Cindy. All right. Have safe sex. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Ugh. Fifteen. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Six-year-old. I don't understand. You know, yeah, yeah, I am. And, and I know you have a daughter. I know this freaks you out yeah. like entirely. Yeah. So, so my, my daughter's fourteen. Yeah. So say like next year. Yeah. I you're find getting out that, there, uh, Mo. I find out a guy is sleeping with my daughter. Yeah, you're getting. And he's there. twenty-six. I'm gonna kill that fucking guy. Uh, okay, I, I know that you. I this is dumb. Take that when we human life. when we flip these people's questions onto ourselves, we're not like these people. Okay, I mean, if we of were twenty six, you wouldn't yeah. sleep with a sixteen year old because we just don't. Okay, we it's do dumb. other yeah. stupid shit, but not this kind of stuff. So explain to me, as you probably have a lot of male people, friends, whatever, experience with this stuff. Like, what is the attraction? I've never understood guys who go for like really young chicks, 15, 16, and they're in their mid 20s, 30s, you know, I'm like, what the hell are you guys talking about? I mean, maybe it's just about the boning, but still, I can't be in a room with somebody that I'm boning if they're really retardedly stupid well, or but, young yeah, and but, don't but, understand but you're, anything, you know? Okay, you're assuming that there's a large population of guys that want to bone 15 years. There, there are. I've met a lot. There are. If you no, don't I don't know think this, they'll then... come down. To, look, say, like, I have young girlfriends. Like, I like at least my last few girlfriends have been generally quite young. Uh-huh. Um, you know, nine. What did I date when she was nine? Twenty. Uh huh. And th- while that age gap is greater than the age gap of this girl boning this guy, there's just such a huge difference between fifteen and twenty, though. Yeah, you know, there really it, it, is. It's such it's such an astronomical difference. And that's what so, I'm saying is that what is the appeal for these guys? There are a lot of guys that do this, and maybe you don't have friends that do, but there are there are a lot of guys sorry, that go for these 16, 17, and fifteen year olds. They like it for some reason. I don't maybe, know if it's because it's the I don't young know. Let's just say. That, uh, okay, if I were going to give, if I were going to throw three reasons top of my head here. Number one is like, okay, now that I'm an established guy, uh-huh. I can score these girls in high school that I didn't get when I was in high school. So I'm going to go after the girls in high school. It's reliving what they weren't able to experience when they were that age. Yeah. So I'm going to experience it now, uh-huh. maybe, which is very wrong. 
Secondly, it's I know these girls don't have a lot of experience, so I want to go ahead and rub oh, my stink on Oh, so like, but also, it, maybe it's also that insecurity thing that, you know, older chicks are going to know if I'm crap in bed, so sleep with the younger girls who don't sure. know shit. Sure. All right. Yeah. Weird, yeah. sick, yeah. twisted people. Don't sleep with kids, oh, oh, man. Don't almost sleep like, kids. um, like, like, you know, I want to, I want to, I want to tight, young, energetic teenager because the older girls have so much responsibilities like work already and this and that and drama yeah while these teenagers are just so who want to lucky impress and free me and, oh, oh they, my they, god so, you know like yeah. cindy totally right. like passed me a note in class and woo right and then number three there's just full-on sexual predator like I, I, and that might even be valid for all three guys yeah but true. that the true criminal serial demented individual mm-hmm. i think that then that would be the third guy yeah Eh, those three dudes. Oh, all right. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Works for me. Yeah. Say I love you. Yeah. Uh, ugh, I feel like I need to take a bath. One of those rape showers. <laughs> you know, in the movies, the girl raped, then she has to take a bath You sit in the corner crying. and cry. Yeah, that's what I need to do right now. back ugh. and forth. <laughs> and if people, oh, Mo, please don't even pretend you're better than you. Your girls are, you know, the age gap is if, yes, that's true. <laughs> but it's not 26, 15. Yeah. All right. What's the great? What's the biggest age difference you've had? Um, for me, question number one. <laughs> uh, yeah. What's the age? Gotta biggest go. age? Uh, I think age that gap? twelve years was the biggest age gap. Eh, all right. Not so bad. No, it's not. But not w- bad. how old were you? Uh, I was nineteen. Okay. Not that yeah, bad. Fair enough. Not that yeah, bad. And I am kind of more mature, you know, than whatever. I know every girl can say that, but you know me, so. All right, let's take a break. When we come back, we'll wrap up tonight's episode. And uh, we'll do a Glad to be Globe segment as well. If you check your Twitter cat, a lot of people asking you to do forbidden questions. I'm I sure know, I saw. Everybody yeah. is being a BI. When we uh, come back, we'll uh, say our goodbyes for uh, wrap up tonight's episode. It's a good time to know the podcast. Season two, brought to you by Globe. Don't go away. Stay tuned. We'll return after this commercial break. We're always on the move. It's really important for us to get better and stronger for every competition that we get into. For all the different lifestyles that we have, some of us are graphic artists, filmmakers. We still find ways to get together. We put a lot of effort in practicing and rehearsing. Sometimes may mga bigla ang shows or auditions, so it's really important for us to get connected. I use my Globe group messaging to get a hold of everybody else. Malayo na rin ang narating namin, marami na rin kaming napuntahan. So it's really important to get connected. Everything for the stylish techie is at SM Super Malls this August. It's the SM 3-Day Sale on August 30, 31, and September 1 at SM City Manila. SM 3-Day Sale! Up to 70% off on great finds. Shop and get a chance to win Suzuki motorcycles. SM 3-Day Sale! The SM 3-Day Sale on August 30, 31, and September 1 at SM City Manila. See posters and print ads for details. Per DTI NCR permit number 8632, series of 2013. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the, with the game Chubby Bunny. But, um, what's, chub, what's wait. Have you played, played Chubby Bunny before? No. You put a marshmallow in your mouth, you say Chubby Bunny. And you keep putting it in your mouth, and you okay. keep saying Chubby Bunny. Okay. Whoever Let's can get it. the most in their mouth wins. But we're not going to say Chubby Bunny. We're going to say, we're going to have a conversation. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. So I'm going to ask you, okay, going to buy. Okay. And you're gonna be like, okay, na, okay, na. Okay. 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 Yeah. Go. Two at a time. Okay, I'm gonna do this time. Okay, can I ba? Okay, na, okay, na. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw it. Okay, can I ba? Okay, na, okay, na. Okay, can I ba? 
What show? That show! It's a show! You know, all that show! It's that show, buddy. Oh, that show! Oh. Yeah, that show's cool. We talk about. Oh, 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 what does this look like? Vagina? And. Like a double blowjob! Vagina? Who is the asshole that decided to shave this shit off the entire planet? Sometimes we like to talk about... It's like when you guys like high-fiving on a girl and then you're doing her in the butt and you're doing her in the mouth. High-five, bro! Vagina? Vaginas? And you're jacking off really intensely but like massaging your balls and shit! I'm not talking about a Chewbacca, man. I'm just talking about a nice little, you know. Vaginas. And don't miss that spot, like the cowper's gland. It's like in between your balls and your asshole. Go. But not me, because I'm a guy. Yeah, that's a cool show. You should watch it. I, I think we're on on Tuesday. got jaundice. Jaundice is different from jaundice. Jaundice is buntis, like that. But she does not do <laughs> Tears off! Tears off! Anyway, jaundice does not know. <laughs> this is professional show. I will put the merienda here. <laughs> so jaundice. And I'm now Happy to present to you Carlo Tayo. Look at me, the third of it. Gusto mo yung snacks? Ano ba to? Ganyan ba yan? Tapos? Ang puti. Ay, tapos. Dito ba pwede ba dyan? Pwede, pwede. Consigo. <laughs> Yan, yeah, para sa show mo ha. Oh. Aray ko. Ang mayaya ba? Pwede ba itong ano? <coughs> Zora, pang ano ba to? Oil absorbing? Pwede pa itong pang nose line? <laughs> Okay, oh. may caution. A when, caution! When caution! What's <laughs> ah! <laughs> glamour te? Oh. When used for the first two weeks, more pimples will appear. Abura <laughs> 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 na, abura na si. Oh my god! Te! Ah! 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 Dapat pala, caution mo na yung pinakinat. <laughs> Join your host, Carrot Nazareno, on Live Love Lulz every Thursday, 7.30 to 8.30, only here on The Factory. What you've been missing on The Factory. Were you the one who posted, James, regarding uh, the guidelines when it comes to checkpoints? Yes, I That's was. That's fantastic. Yes, I just made it up, but you know, I thought... You made it up! You made it up! I mean, this time of year, right? Elections... <laughs> Uh, you know, you never let the truth get in the way of a good story, okay? <laughs> Children, do not follow this at home. I'm just kidding. <laughs> just so you know your rights, if you do get stopped by a checkpoint, you are not allowed we're able to, to verify all of these, James. You're not allowed to run over them. That didn't make it here. So technically... <laughs> now, number two. Upon approach, uh, slow down. I guess that counts as not running them over. <laughs> Dim headlights and slow turn down. on cabin lights. Okay. Cabin lights. Mm -hmm. Lock all doors of vehicles. During inspection, since lock, oh, lock. They might get uh, pissed off because nope. you're locking. But that's the thing. Okay. This is where they get you, and this is actually. <laughs> I know we're making fun of it a little bit, but yeah. this is a serious issue. We've seen some people genuinely harassed. Drugs yeah. are planted. Yeah, and, and, yeah, and, and other things, stories. you know. Um, <clears throat> a Justin Bieber CD is planted, which is even worse. Oh <laughs> yes, no! I've heard of that, you know. And there's no defense for that. Just there's Bieber really no defense. The, yeah, it's like, it's but Your Honor, we found this. I <laughs> throw, throw the book at him. And the then CD as well. You, have to, you know, then after that you have to submit your cell phone and everything. Yeah. And ne next thing you know, you know you have a Justin Bieber ringtone. <laughs> oh, Catch no. James Deacon and the boys on Counterflow Wednesday, 7:30 to 8:30, only here.
on the factory. And if you think call center work is easy, think again. Because if you want to get into the industry, you have to practice. Vladimir Vlad, the best pump if I want to bond your player and focus on the balls for biting them. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Hindi, nasabi ko lang kasi wala na yung makasabi. Dadaanan naman si Lunes, mag-a-adjust ka na naman ang tulog mo. Earth, my girls. Oh my god! Mismo. Ready na pa ba kayo dyan? Ayaw, ayaw na ka ba dyan? Hi, this is Mo Twister. Please watch The Call Center Show every Sunday, 6pm, only here on New Media Fact. I was dared through boss man to uh, to eat a spoonful of not sugar but cinnamon. So you guys, um, I don't cower down to a challenge. I take them wholeheartedly and with spoonfuls. And I'm going to take a spoonful of cinnamon. I saw this okay. like a thousand ways to die, and the guy died. <laughs> <laughs> it was so sad. <laughs> Wow. Okay, now say chubby bunny. <laughs> <laughs> I like the color of your lip. You've been missing on the factory. Now we're gonna show you guys the new beta that just came out yesterday. It's God of War Ascension, the private beta for and PlayStation Plus. PlayStation Plus. Let's watch it, right? It's nice and we can play already. Yes. Yep. Okay. There you go. And perfect <laughs> timing. <laughs> perfect timing. Well, before that, I was. I was kicking ass. <laughs> so go with the theme of the show, How Not to Play. It's Robot Rice and Friends with Alfonso Martinez, Mickey Han, and Nigel Zalameo. Fridays, 6 to 7 p.m., only here on The Factory. Yeah. Nope, I'm glad it. that it uh, it has made your way to your eyes. And, Fantastic. Uh, yeah. Like we needed to see another small penis in this world. Whoo! Yeah. It's the cream pie. You know what? You you know be a great meme, uh, Pico Hoogie. If you can do this, is you know the point where Wally does the uh, check face, Mister Poggy. I didn't even see face? that. I totally missed the, the Mister Poggy face. That's hilarious. Face, yeah. You can put like a meme that says Mister Poggy, and then. Right next to that one, put the Mr. Donut pie. and showing the cream pie. <laughs> Mr. Poggy, Mr. Donut. Just because it's the cream pie. Oh, That's awesome. Oh, my goodness me. And, but, 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 okay, but you've seen, you've seen the Cheeto sex tape, yes? Uh, no, no, okay. I didn't see that one either. Okay, okay so you got to tell me, what's, who's got the better cum face? Is it the cum face of Wally with the check or the chloroform poisoning uh, I heard about this. I didn't see okay. it. I need to see it though. Yeah, I need to see, see a picture of us. Uh, Pico, do you have? Do you? You got the other one there? And the Chito Miranda one. Yeah, Chito put the Miranda's one. In, but but face. fast forward it to the end because you to the end because you got to get that cum face going because I want to know which one you'd rather kind of see. Okay, obviously, if you were having sex with either of these men and they do the cum face, I, I think that's the last time you're gonna have sex with them. But which <laughs> one would you rather have? Would you have the check? Now, I'm not saying okay, I'm not saying you're gonna have sex with Wally or Cheeto. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm talking about I just you're gonna like any it guy could be in any general. Guy, if a dude did this, either of these things, which would I prefer they did? At the end, which yeah, yeah. well, which one's the lesser of the evil? Because uh, the Cheeto come face at the end is oh, man, it's 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 
it's a lot to watch as well. Man, he looks like he was dying. <laughs> like he really looked like he looked like he was being kidnapped. Like you know when a he guy's was kidnapping you know, you know, himself. Right, you know when you get into a, when you in the movies when they kidnap, they're kicking around and their face and they're, <laughs> it looked like that. Like he was being why put in the truck that? of a why, car. Why is that? Is it, he was trying to like be quiet? Like he wasn't. He was trying not no, to make noise. No, 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 no. I, I, I think he was like. I, I, I think you know how a girl fakes an orgasm. I think it was a fake orgasm. It was a real orgasm, but a fake intensity. Yeah, a fake like, reaction. Like it's so right. Awesome. It was like you, it's like, you're yes, so yeah, yeah, you're so oh. good at what you're doing right now. I can't control my fucking like sensibilities. So, so he made a really ugly fake cream face. Like that's no, kinda, no, no, no. That's kinda... He he made a like like he was. Like exploding and needed to, he was about to vomit. You know when a person's about to vomit and yeah, they're trying yeah, to hold it yeah, in with their yeah, mouth? Yeah, it yeah. looked like that. Yeah, okay. Well, if that's the case, I'd, I'd go with Mr. Boggy Man. At least after like a couple of really? seconds long. Yeah, I mean, why would you want a guy, you know, he's busting another, he looks like he's gonna die. I think I'd be a little bit well, worried. At maybe least Mr. Boggy, he's happy and he's like, yeah, I did it. True. But instead okay. of, Noted. oh my God, my face, I'm all gonna die. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I'd just be a little worried, you know, like, oh my Hold God, on, what happened to you? Are you okay? Did I break your car? I know, I know we're running really late here, but do you mind? Can you pump that fucker up? I just want to see at the Can end. Can you and pump I want... that fucker up? <laughs> I meant the video, not the Oh, thing. shit. We're really late. Oh, okay. We're late. All right. Let's get out of here. Glad, glad to be Globe segment. Let's talk to Julia. Julia on line six. Julia, you are, uh, we're going to give you 500 bucks worth of load plus a tattoo stick. Just tell us why are you glad to be Globe, Julia? Um, hi, Rose. So the reason why I'm glad to be Globe is because I'm addicted to their unlead data, like, or oh, yes. Yes. Yeah, cause, that, um, that would be actually probably my reason to. Only that is <laughs> fantastic. Yeah, it's, it's like one of the few services um, like that um, that actually work. Like I always have data on because I'm addicted to like Google Maps and whatever. So, um, yeah, I can't live without data. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I'm with you, man. I, 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 co I completely feel the same way. That's a perfect answer. All right. Thank you very much, Julia. Congratulations. 500 bucks load plus a tattoo stick for telling us why you awesome. are glad to be Globe. All right, baby. Thank Thanks you. for the call. Well, yep. She sounds hot. Bye, Julia. Sounds hot. Yeah. All right. Wouldn't mind Mr. Poggy checking that. <laughs> I got a Mr. Poggy check that one. Dude. Just saying. Uh, Kat, as always, just stellar job, man. You are really just Oh, wait, wait. Gold uh, just seeing the cum face. Oh, yep. No, definitely would go with Mr. Poggy. Really? Yeah. That looks like he's like Bane out of like freaking the movie, you know? Bane? Like, he's seriously like. <laughs> It's time for the day of reckoning. Yeah, exactly. Like, freaked out. Like, oh, my God, honey, did I break your penis? Why do you look like that? Are you going to, like, throw up on me? Like, what's happening? At least Mr. Poggy, it's, like, cheeky lang. Hey, I just did it. You know, like, okay lang. Hi, this is Bane. I'm about to come. Yeah. The day of reckoning has arrived. I'm going to come um, in your mouth. Yeah, l l let's, uh, <laughs> let's get out of here because we're running late. Sorry, guys. But, Katya, thank you so much. Thank you all the people thank who called the show. Though. Oh, by the way, caller of the night. Um, we tried getting in touch with her. It's the girl from Korea, the one with the dick photo and stuff like that. We really wanted to get in touch with her because and we, we really want to know who was. it is. That's right. So um, I think she's already offline. Maybe the, the time zone difference. I don't know what it is in Korea, but she's probably asleep. So we'll contact you. Uh, I believe her name was April. Uh, we will contact you uh, tomorrow for your prize. And uh, congratulations from uh, Korea. Thank you very much. All right, Kat. Yeah, we'll see you next week, love. You're the best. Awesome. Uh, next week for forbidden questions. No, forbidden. not next week. We have to wait a while. All right, fine, fine. Okay. It's, it's, my, it's my birthday coming up in a month. How about? Can you do it for my birthday? Isn't your birthday in October? No, my birthday's well? in July. Oh, fuck. All right. Nevertheless, so a little birthday gift from for free from you to me. Maybe I'll think. All about right. It. Have a great night, guys. Bye, everyone. Bye. Good times with Mo. The podcast was executively produced by Mohan Gulata, engineered by Miguel Alfindo, and operated by Icon Media Inc. Special thanks to Matt.